two mines round table no oh, yeah mines round table weekend event I'm Roger Hansen and today I actually remembered to hit the record button and with that being said I am going to do an introduction because this is a special episode of mines.com or uh not mines.com mines roundtable weekend event this is officially our final episode for the second season um it's probably the most amazing one because this is the freaking stream that has driven me more crazy than any of the other streams we've done and i i you me too. exactly you me too. exactly freaking uh before we get started too i do want to say because these two deserve freaking all the credit for this uh Tan High Tran and Mark Edworthy, you guys have been wonderful. Okay, I want to freaking officially say that on this episode because, like, I I, I I don't think this thing could have gone this far if it wasn't for you guys being here with me. I mean, I would have freaking gave up on mine on mine's round table a long time ago, to be honest with you. I mean, <laughs> This and and that's why I think uh, we should actually have a conversation about this actual stream, you know, because I think out of all the ones we've done, it's the one that has the most history. You know what I mean? You don't think so? Mm, I don't know about history. Um, oh, you <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, T tell me. Tell me anything on any of the other streams that have been more interesting than what we've put on the round table. They've all been interesting going right. Um, this is just a bit more, this stream is just a little more random than the others. More rowdy too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and freaking, uh, oh so, uh, Besides having you guys on there, I do want to uh, say kind of how it started out. Like, whenever freaking this, uh, we've been streaming give or take about 10 months now, I'd say. It was about 10 months. I, I can find the official time when we started because I got it all uh, documented on my channels. But I know it's been around 10 months. And we decided to freaking do Mines Roundtable first, wasn't it? Uh, it, it was it was it was either uh, this possibly. one it, it, this one was w the first or one of the first ones that we did and uh uh karma love started coming in and helping and then it was you me mark you me and tan and uh karma mm -hmm. that were going through and doing all the, the streams and stuff together and uh most of this right here was the one where we all came together and we all started doing crazy shit, you know, and, and hanging out and stuff. So I think, I, and that, that first season was pretty interesting whenever we did the first season. But this second one to me was kind of iffy, you know what I mean? It's always been like up in the air. I didn't know for sure if we were actually going to be able to finish off the freaking season because like, I remember we said I said that it would be a good idea just to keep this going for the first part of the year so that we could just finish the first or second mm -hmm. season off straight up. But I didn't because we went we started when and it was in uh, August, wasn't it, of last year? Uh, it sounds about right. Yeah, I got the upload yeah. there. Yeah, I think so. It was right around August, and then we finished the first season and went straight into the second season and uh like i said it everything started getting crazy during that time period that's when freaking uh karma left the show i remember mm -hmm. and that right there kind of freaking set me back I, at that point i i, I wanted to just give up because that shit was crazy and that's when i had to go through the whole getting over people getting mad at you and leaving thing you know Mm. So, that that right there was where I was iffy. It was all in the air, and it seems like freaking that's the one thing that a lot of people seem to go through when it goes to streaming and doing their own shows and stuff. So, mm. what do you, 
What do you think? Do you, do you agree with any mm. of that shit? You know what? I, I had a hard time with that when I first started out, you know. But then I learned people come and go, and then sometimes they come back. Yeah. You know? Mm. And that, it, it, it's crazy like that, but uh, it, it's really... Uh, I had a really good experience, you know. But then again, I've done radio and radio is all about change and being there for the moment you know yeah yeah mm -hmm. so when i came over to these other platforms like that uh i don't think i was as shocked to see you know hey this that's how you know things go mm -hmm. at times you know but uh if you get a good if, if you get uh, a show or a stream that lasts more than a year, okay, you're doing really good, mm. all right? Uh, and, and and you need to pat yourself on the back for that. Um, anything over five years, man, that's cream. <laughs> you know? yeah. it, it, Ten years is gold, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, believe me, because I, I, I've, I've done that, and, and it's kind of like marriage, in a way. All right. Um, so you, get the first year, well, the first few months are kind of like, but and then, you know, feeling it out, and then uh, after you get going, you know, things will, all, kind of, uh, you know, they'll either slide into place, then you know. With time, too, people, you know, kind of uh, will also grow away from you or you'll grow away from them. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's different things that happen. And that's not a bad thing. That, it's growth. Mm -hmm. You have to look at it as growth. All yeah. right? Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you, uh, from the very beginning, there, there, there's very few people that I've produced that I would never want to talk to again or I've drawn the line and said I will never ever ever produce you don't bother me don't look at me don't listen to me I, I don't care if you support me or not I don't want your uh, influence or you know I'm leaving you behind <laughs> you <know? Yeah. laughs> so uh, and there's a few that's been like that but that's very rare, and that's what you got to mm. do. You got to when, when you when you do like now you you have several different thing topics and things that you uh, work with. Mm -hmm. So really need to do is work on making that a family thing. All right, uh, the the group of people that you have that's your family. That that's that's how I treat all my hosts, co-hosts, and uh, even the guests that they bring in. You know, because they may be, you know, those co-hosts and guests may turn into hosts later, like Jack Carey was for me. Mm -hmm. Jack Carey's been uh, a, a guest, started out as a guest, then a, a panelist slash co-host for one show, and now he has his own show with me. Yeah, we, yeah, we, no. we, that, we, that. we do the family thing too. It's just, yeah. you gotta understand with us, it's, it's a really, really dysfunctional family. Like, we, oh, yeah, it yeah. is. Of course it is. <laughs> it, 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 it's no different than, you know, m say, uh, the group of people that I have for, uh, censorship sucks. All right. That's a different group of people than my Cafe Enigma people. I mean, you, you, my cafe enigma people they're mostly telegram and let's see here facebook and a, a few other platforms where the censorship sucks guys they're primarily minds people yeah i, I and I, i'm finding issues with like people who are with, with this whole voip thing you know what i mean like it, it's really driving me nuts because like people are freaking telling me I need to use stuff like Jitsi and stuff because that's open source. 
and, no. and stay away mm. from Discord and stay away from freaking Skype because they're just trying to steal your data. You know, mm. I'm like, are you well, serious? You, you, you pay your money, you do what you well, want. Um, you can you read the terms of services, you um, accept the agreements. That's up to you, what you use. Exactly. That's what I finally had to decide. Mm. I had to put my foot down and say, mm. you know what? <laughs> Show up to the freaking shows. I mean, if. if it's that important to you when you make those suggestions show up to my shows maybe i'll freaking you know take the time to freaking get on gypsy because you're showing up but like don't mm. just don't just make your freaking grandiose freaking suggestion and then don't show up you know what i mean how many times have people done that to me you know yeah uh, well you you'll you'll have that and you'll also have the thing about you know uh, clarity and things like that well here here you have to look at this too all right and a lot of the other people have to understand when you use skype it's the industry standard all right all major used to be networks uh, in the united states use it uh nbc cbs ABC, or um, Microsoft Meets is probably the more industry standard now. I know Skype has been around for what, 20 years now? Um, yep. Give or take. Um, um, it's a service that Microsoft's never going to, or not going to drop any time soon just because the um, amount of users is stopped. But um, I find in more of the Corporate world, it's, it's Microsoft Teams now, or in the case of <coughs> PC. Well, see, you know, with with you know, even coast to coast AM with George Nori uses Skype. Okay. Okay. So that's that's what I, you know, that's what I have to go with. In okay. if if they're using that, I need to use that too. I mean, maybe they're using it. Maybe the Skype that they're using is an upgrade because they're paying for it differently than I. You know, I use a free version. All right. So, so the yes, quality, yeah. the quality may be different because of that. But I'm still using the same platform that they use, which you know. No, that's I think as far as Skype is concerned, um, quality improvements not a thing. Um, what you are paying for is uh, absurd services such as um, having an actual phone number attached to your Skype account. Well, but, you can. Um, you, you, can put, you can add a you can add a uh, a number to Skype, okay, mm. and have a call. Mm. Like, uh, you know, like I told my host, if they want a call-in number, all they have to do is, uh, you know, sign up for and pay for the, the number. And uh, they call, uh, people will call them on their Skype, okay? And that makes it their personal uh, Skype line for the show. Yeah. So I mean, and, and you know, I can I can still use the same um, free service as well that as I've the been phone. Using years. Yeah. Now, see, that's what scarred me on the whole internet thing, because like freaking, for me, I I wanted to be able to freaking get on here and figure out a way of doing it as cheap as possible. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I I found out that freaking you can. You can, you know, keep it limited to a pretty decent amount, but nothing's for free on the internet. You know, that yeah. that was the hard lesson I had to learn. So it's, um, you know, stop stop trying to get the freebies as much. Sometimes you do have to freaking upgrade, you know. And, like, I, I thought I could go ahead and use an old freaking computer that I had from 19 or 2012. Yeah. Yeah, you know well, <laughs> for some of that good I, stuff. I have I have upgraded some things but there are still quite a bit that I will not upgrade mm -hmm. uh, to a paid I, I won't do paid services no 
Yeah. I, I won't I won't do paid services for uh, even uh, my archives. Why would you want to do that? Why would you pay for an archive uh, to, to have an archive when you can go to the Library of Congress in the United States and it's free? All right? And yeah, it but never certain, takes anything down. certain things, um, as I'm just um, when you're looking up um, case, court cases and um, legal precedents, certain things. It's better to actually pay um, and account for it and to do further research. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not true in all cases, but uh, I, I have found um, times when it would have been better if I actually spent a bit of money on actually um, accessing a white paper or a scientific paper or something. But you know, it's it's like anything. If you know, you you do get some other values for paying for things. Like, oh, uh, maybe uh, you get listed. Well, wow. you know, on, on searches. Now that see, for doing that. this goes into what freaking I have my issues with Minds with at the moment. Okay, I I, I did pay for freaking Minds Plus, and, but the only reason why I did that was because. Freaking, I would get paid for the content that I freaking put on there. You know what I mean? And uh, only the and, ones that you ones plus with ones plus um, tag, yeah. Right. And I, I wasn't wanting the cryptocurrency. I want the cash. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not playing this cryptocurrency when it comes to mine. No, but it's not a cryptocurrency. Well, I'm, I know. I'm just. I'm just. Seventeen point five. Sorry. And so, so <laughs> that same. Like yeah, I, I know. I, I was trying to avoid it, trying to do it suave like, you know. But my whole point is, is like I, I uh, that that was the only reason why I wanted to do it, and it seemed okay. But they freaking decided, you know, that they weren't going to do it no more after freaking you go in and you pay freaking the sixty bucks to freaking get their services, and like the whole time that I've been freaking using Minds Plus, freaking their platform is just shitty. It's not, I mean, it's like freaking needs a overhauling like you wouldn't believe. The analytics suck and all this shit, you know, and freaking mm. the only thing that they had going for them was the fact that they were giving me money for the videos that I freaking put out, you know what I mean? And, and then all of a sudden they said they couldn't do that. Well, you know, the, I almost, if it wasn't for Bashy, one of the people that was, she's one of the admins uh, on there, if it wasn't for her being nice and like giving me $2 for freaking 60 bucks, I wouldn't have been able to cash out on the last, or $2 to get 100 bucks. I wouldn't have been able to cash out on the last one that I had. I'd have been screwed on that. And, and there's a whole lot of other people who freaking paid into that shit that got screwed over, you know what I mean? So that, that caused a lot of frustration to me, with me too, you know. Um, whenever they stopped doing that, I boycotted Minds Plus. I, I just don't use it no more. I just post my shit right up on regular Minds, and if people want to see it, they mm. can see it for free. Yeah, I, 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 the only reason why I got Minds Plus, okay, is that one time I had an insane amount of points, okay? Yeah. So uh, what I did was I transferred those all to become Minds Points forever. Hmm. All right. That, I did that. And uh, all the people that uh, are that with me in uh, Minds were like, we would have gave you money for that. I'm like, I can't accept money for that. Otherwise, because if, if I could accept money and things like that, I would have monetized years ago, but mm -hmm. I can't monetize. All right, due to my uh, disability, the way it's written. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, not only that, um, if you're converting tokens to money, that is technically a violation of the and, terms and, of services, aren't And then at the time too, do you know how much? I mean, 
Do you know how much I would have been paying for gas fees at the time? Oh my God, it would have been. Yeah, it was always like. I'm not yeah, doing. I, I told them, I said, you guys are nuts. I'm not doing. Well, you wouldn't have had to get the gas fees or anything. We would have just sent you the money. You just send it to us. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I said, yeah, I'm going to just get to. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, get my uh, uh, Minds Plus forever, and then uh, I'm done. I said, because the, mm. they like, why did you want Minds Plus if you're just going to do that? And I said, I wanted Minds Plus so I didn't have to see all these, uh, what's it, uh, boosts and all the uh, other stuff that they were starting to push at the time. And... Yeah, that, my that, general, that, that, my uh, own personal general approach to so when the post comes to mind is I rarely look at the news feeds. I, um, I will go into specific um, channels or groups and then look at the content on there and then ignore everything else or ignore all the feasts and that sort of thing. With, with me, I mean, if, if people are on my uh, on my friends list and stuff and I get notifications from them, I usually go in and I'll see their stuff, I'll mm. like it and uh, mm. remind it, you know, and that, that, but that is, that's about all, I don't, I don't go into the freaking screen and start scrolling down. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I, I I'm, fairly rarely remind anything. Um, um, the, on, the only my, thing on mine's I hate. My time is quite specific, so. There's only one thing on mine's that, that I despise more than Bill Altman, and that's freaking memes. Okay. I am I am I am not here to freaking watch your freaking dog do tricks in the backyard and freaking and look at memes. Yeah, I've, I've had enough of cats to this for a lifetime, for a couple of lifetimes. And I have cat. I have a cat. I got two dogs, man. But I don't want to watch that shit on frickin' the internet. <laughs> you know? Time wasting, yeah, I'm not done. It can, it can be. Yeah. Um, you still talk it to the two, but... Well, I mean, and, 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 and then, then I get... And then I get... And then I get... And then I hear shit about that, you know what I mean? It's like freaking people that freaking I like are telling me that I'm wrong, you know what I'm saying? It's like freaking Bob Dub is freaking telling me, oh, that's just so horrible. How can you be that way, Roger? Mine's is the greatest thing on the face of the earth yeah, next to Elon yeah. Musk. You, you know, at one time, I I told the uh, censorship sucks. I said, man, you guys are so into that. How much? How much is Bill and uh, John paying you? Yeah, I know. That's what I was wondering too. And, 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 yeah. and we're not getting paid anything. I'm like, well, it sure doesn't sound like that when you're on the air. I said, and if we don't stop promoting, like an infomercial, <laughs> they're gonna start charging us mm. for it. Yeah. And, and they're like, what do you mean? I said, you cannot say mines every on every episode every every stream every uh that's you you are uh creating an infomercial and do you know how much infomercials cost on radio or tv mm -hmm. more than they got to send me. okay so and, and i had to put it to them that way i said we have to stop that if if we don't they're going to cut us off and say uh, we owe them X amount of dollars for infomercials, and they're like, w w "We're not, we're we're not advertising." Oh, said, anytime you say Minds.com or uh, use, come to Minds and use my promo code. That's an advertisement. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you know, it's. I said, and they said, "How?" Uh, what happens if we have Bill on or, or John or one of the others on? I said, that's not a problem then. I said, that is your guest. That's where you find your guest. Okay? And you know, these companies know that. I said, but if you don't have those people on that you're interviewing and you can't say, uh, you just can't pick, off, pick anybody off 
you know, a platform and, and say, oh, you know, I said, I said, all we have to do is turn that around and say, uh, exchange the minds.com for facebook.com or Twitter x.com. I said, can you do that? No. I'm like, exactly. All right. Because yeah. it's advertisement. And, and the thing of it is, is if they want to do all that stuff, just tell them they need to start using their referring or their referral code. It, it's on every freaking account they have. They just, whenever they freaking do their streams, if they're doing mm. them, freaking put it on right. there. You know, and if, if these people want to go on mines and they want to freaking support them on mines, then they can click that freaking code and there, there won't be an issue. You know what I mean? And, I don't agree with that, but I'm saying if that's what they want to do, because I've seen but people you can't do that throughout the whole show. Right. No one can do that. You can do that at the very end of the show. This is where you find me. Ba 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 ba. Usually, and in the in the standard is here's my website and here's my email and telephone. Mm -hmm. Boom. That's it. <laughs> email and telephone. Jesus. Three Yeah. Otherwise, okay. otherwise you start getting into Oh, uh, you know, you got, uh, you know, who, who's, who's, you know, sending who money, who's getting this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 and no, 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 I'm not going to play that game. Yep. That's, that's why, even when I'm on all these platforms and that, you'll never hear me mention what radio station I'm on. Why? Because the first time I mention a station, all the other stations say, why didn't you mention our station first? You've been with us X amount of time, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I'm so not going to play. He said, she said. You, see, you're only on that anyway. one station, then that's not a problem, huh? Or if you're only, um, if you're only hosting that series that, um, on that one station, then that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I I will never ever go exclusive, because the minute you go exclusive. That's the easiest way that they can blackball you on radio. All right? Oh, you were with that station. We can't hire you. Or, yeah, we were good friends with uh, the people that owned that station. Uh, we don't want you because uh, they said bad things about you. Or or they won't even give you the time of day. You know? Mm. And that, and that, and believe it or not, that happens a whole, whole lot when it comes to uh, this type of uh, these, you know, platforms. I was always and wondering especially that. Especially the radio, a radio side, it's it 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 gets really, really. Uh, I, I, I was I always see, wondering that when it comes to our bill. A, I can see the point that you've got some sort of exclusivity contract point um, then yeah I can see the purpose of um, dropping the company's name anyway but um, yeah most people don't have such contracts um, agreed yeah well I was always thinking that too when it came to like Art Bell and everything when he left freaking uh, coast to coast because like they didn't leave on good, good terms. A lot of people don't realize that, you know. And uh, whenever uh, he left, that's when he went out to the desert, wasn't it? And he started making his own shows out there near Area 51. Well, uh, his health, his health tr took a turn for the worst, okay? And he, he couldn't get the care, and his family wasn't close to him, where... Uh, because he was living in the Philippines alright I don't know if you all knew that He for years yeah. and years uh, he would do coast to coast from the Philippines and no one knew that every now and then he would say hey I'm you know I'm broadcasting from the Philippines or uh, I was just out at uh, so and so place earlier today and that's you know, near my home, and I'm like, well, that's in the Philippines, <laughs> you know. Again, I'm not sure who you're talking about because this is very U.S. centric sort of. Oh no, dude! You should, you know, Art Bell is even popular in England. 
I mean, pa our Bill mm -hmm. was freaking. He he was like a radio guru. Yeah. I mean, well, you, people you, you know where Art Bell started, right? I know it wasn't coast to coast. I know that. I know he. He he, he actually started on Armed Forces Radio and Television. Yeah, actually, okay, yeah. Just, just like me. Yeah, he, and he he that's that's the one thing I was wanting to say the other night when I was on Jaffe's because he uh, Angel was talking that crap about Art Bell and he kept he he dropped his name and uh, you know I wanted to say hold on now first of all Art Bell didn't just get on the freaking uh, on the freaking radio and start spilling his mouth off and freaking not doing anything the dude dude knew the radio inside and out he knew the freaking machinery that he was actually freaking working with he 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 could repair anything you know what I mean he he knew what his 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 shit was you know he was very very intelligent when it came to freaking radio and the, the stuff that he had to use in order to get freaking his shows running it, it yeah. wasn't just it just wasn't about freaking making the show it was everything oh yeah and on top of that you know he wasn't the first to do that kind of stuff. There was a couple people that came before him, you know, and you know, the, it's usually and he just became the bigger voice. And you know, and then USA Paranormal, not uh, not Paranormal, USA oh, I can't think what. There was another there was another guy too. His name is Don Ecker. Now him and Do now Art and Don hated each other, and and Don really despises uh, a, a few other people. And I've been on Don's show too, uh, but uh, oh yeah, the they're like old time guys, all right. But Don originally he he wasn't on radio originally. He, uh, originally he was a uh, a police officer in Altoona, Pennsylvania. And then uh, he took over, what was it, uh, um, UFO Magazine. He was the, him and his wife were the original uh, editors and publishers of UFO Magazine. Yeah. Now I want to... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I want to make sure that I'm looking... Or because I don't want to mess the names up. I know Don Ecker. I'm pretty sure he's... Isn't he... Yeah, he's the guy that took freaking... Uh, yeah. He's the... He's Beyond the, he's, Night or something like that. No, yeah. Don Don didn't take... Uh, what you call it? Uh, slot. Yeah. Well, a lot, a lot of people he, believe he did. No, no. Don never... Uh, Don never worked on Coast to Coast. Uh, he was a guest on Coast to Coast. Oh, decades ago. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, when, I mean right when now I was, he's live every night between 1 a.m. Yeah. to 5 a.m. So it's like, yeah. uh, let's see here, George Knapp, and uh, who was the other one? There was George Knapp and Ian Punnett. Those those guys uh, really uh, built the slot uh, between mm -hmm. uh, as the transition for George Norrie. Yeah. Now. Um, George Knapp, he's the one. I, I remember him now. Uh, it, I like George Knapp. Yeah. He he knows his shit. Uh, he he he's a a TV guy out in uh, right right there next to uh, one of the Air Force bases in Nevada. I, mm -hmm. I can't think of what uh, base he's near, but uh, England Eggland or something like that maybe. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, he, he was one that covered, uh, who was it? Uh, I can see his face. and The guy from Area 51 along with John Lear. He, him, oh. he interviewed John and all. And uh, Now, I, I keep... You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. I keep messing his name up, too. I used to like him because... It, bizarre. It, it, B bizarre. Bizarre. Oh, I, I don't know how I can forget that because yeah, my dad too. is off, all right? <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, it's a common name. It's so easy to forget. Yeah. Yeah. 
play. And the the thing I loved about him, what really caught my attention about him, just so I, uh, I could say this, was he put a pirate flag up above this house, dude. Now that yeah. that, that is so <laughs> fucking cool, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bizarre had a freaking pirate flag above his house, and I was like, dude, that is cool as shit. Because I, I love pirate flags. I do. Yeah. Not trying. Well, I, you know, I, one of my logos originally was a pirate flag, and I'm like, I had to be, I had to do something different. So I, I, I did a lot of research on pirate flags. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm like, everybody uses the black one. That means uh, when they fly the black one, that means that they're just going to come in and rob you and then, you know, take all your, take everything that's good, and, uh, you know, uh, but they're, they're, they're not going to sink you. All right. Mm -hmm. When you fly the red flag, <laughs> you're in trouble because no, there, there is uh, no hold far. You're going down. You, you, we're gonna board you. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna kill everybody. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and you know, and and I used, I used to use the red flag um, skull. <laughs> for a while. <laughs> oh, freaking. That's what I was uh, saying. You and Jaffe really need to meet each other. I think I think you and Jaffe would get along great. Have you ever met Jaffe Ryder? Uh, probably have. He does, uh, uh, what is it? WPRNP, I think is what it is. J J oh. I, I always mess it up. Uh, freaking he... That pirate radio. Yeah, the pirate radio network. Yeah. I, you the, the know, WPR. I, I, I looked into streaming over there one time. I'm like, I don't know if you guys could handle my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or if they could, uh, you know, uh, afford the time slot for me. You know, because, uh, you know, when I do a time slot, I, I have to be like. I can only do between this time and this time. Why? Why can't you do these other times? I'm like, uh, I, I'm simulcast all these other platforms at this time. If you want me live, that's the only time I can do it. Mm -hmm. And you have to allow me to, you know, simulcast to other platforms and not mention your platform. Oh, well, I don't know if we can do that or not. I'm like, oh, yeah, forget it. You know. <laughs> That's the bad part about you guys, man. Freaking out. like me, I'm just a rebel. I can say whatever right. the hell I want, dude. But you guys have to like watch your P's and Q's and shit, you know? Yeah, you think it's thousands of dollars. You say the wrong word if you, you know. Well, I <laughs> yeah, I I can't say the wrong word. I guess you're right about that. But like, I don't have to worry about like freaking saying the wrong network because I'm on a radio or some stuff yeah. like that, you know what I mean? Well, uh, well, if you were on YouTube, you would. Well, yeah, if I'm, I'm, I am on YouTube. I can't it, say the, I can't yeah, say the seriously it, bad stuff. Oh, there's a couple other video platforms out there uh, that, that do not allow you to uh, stream on any other video platforms but them if you take and stream through them. And they're important yeah. too, but they're uh, like, I think Justin TV or something like that was yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. uh, there was another. I can, I'll look them up, but there's quite a few. I think I think for some of them, um, I think it's Justin TV actually, but um, I believe it came from the EU. Um, um, the EU came up and stayed up that form of contract is not um, valid. Well, Justin TV is Twitch now. You know that, right? Yeah, 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 well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Something yeah. like that. All right, it 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 wasn't that. It, it was some other. Hold on here. I'll tell you in a sec. Oh. They've always been through a lot of controversy, though. Like back whenever they were Justin TV, I'd get on there and like, freaking stream porn and everything. They get so mad at me, dude. And then, like, they never... Oh, I got a warning from D-Live about my saucy, uh, uh, stream stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I, 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 I do have a little bit of eye candy off to the side. Okay, big deal. I'm like, 
they they're covered. All right, mm -hmm. they are covered okay. up. All right. It's still family friendly. <laughs> but in, in on Do you top watch? on top of that, all right, I am uh, I'm also listed as an adult channel. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. And one of the admins came in there. We don't allow porn and blah, 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 this, that. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I said, uh, let me review my stream when I'm done to see if I, I, I might have missed something that you didn't, th that I didn't know about or, you know, I just missed. Uh, okay. And I'm like, so I went in there and I couldn't find a thing couldn't find anything at all that was like that and I'm like it, you know the closest thing I have is swimsuits alright yeah. <laughs> well see I know if, if they are making the allegation that you stop porn you know, then they have to pin, then if the logical thing they have to pinpoint exactly where in the figure let's say if you are right. trying, trying to actually point that out I mean, they make the allegation anyway. Yeah. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. he, he, here, Vaughn. Vaughn is the one. And Vaughn owns a lot of different uh, free streaming platforms. All right? Mm -hmm. But it, it'll be like VLive. There's a whole bunch of other ones under them. So if you get mm -hmm. banned by one all the rest of them take you out too and don't allow you to come in and just that specific is that specified in the terms of service agreement it, it is but you know okay. it, but the thing is is in their terms of service they say you cannot have uh, any advertisements for other platforms on it okay yeah. and, mm. and and, and and if you work here, you must be exclusive. I'm like, are you paying me? Ah. You, yeah, you yeah, I was going to say, are you, um, if you work here, um, what's your definition of work? I mean, yeah, is that a natural, physical, legal contract? Or the term services is contract. Anyway. The that, terms of service. Is a contract that you are an employee or, co or a contractor of that company? Mm-hmm. I, I never received a contract, so uh, as soon as I streamed there, like it wasn't even five minutes when they when, when they had an admin come in there just to check and see, you know, I was a newbie in that, and boom, I was gone because it it showed, uh, you know, other you know, I, I advertise all the platforms I'm on, include I I even included them, but they're like. <laughs> read these terms of services and mailed it to me and said you're banned uh, and, and it gave me a list of all the the Vaughn Live uh, I that I'm not allowed to, the terms for, of, for to use ever I again you reviewed, yeah, I presume you reviewed the terms of services at um, time of registration yeah when you registered um, again um, Every time you sign up to a platform, you say, check out to, um, to agree to these terms of services. Users must read these terms of services. I mean, I hear all the time, oh, I am being banned from this platform, I'm being banned from that platform. And yeah. my first question is always, have you read the terms of services and have you um, followed to the T the t that contract? Yeah. And most users will say no. <laughs> but, you know, you would think that if you're going to be able to stream and, it, you know, there's a, a multi-platform connector that allows you to connect to them. All right. But mm -hmm. it the platform doesn't allow you to do that then what's up with oh i guess that they only want to multi you allowed to only multi-platform within their domain or 
uh, anything under the within the, the yeah some their, kind of their, their corporate yeah. family. All right. So you know, and that that's the only thing that I could figure out. I'm like, oh now hold on here, you know, <laughs> like how am I, you know, this one little deal allows me to, you know, go into all the other platforms, and you're listed on that. So I wanted to try you guys out. Um, I tried yeah, them out, and it, yeah, and it no. failed, you know, so miserably. But, 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 but remember, just because yeah. uh, there's um, technology out there to do this, doesn't mean it's been uh, approved by them. Mm -hmm. It's been sponsored or approved by them to be a third party developer to create and, um, a connection for his own needs. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, it's it's just water under the bridge for me because it was hmm. just another platform that I could have been on that I'm not. I'm not heard about that. I don't even know anybody over on the who uses those platforms. But I figured that if I could get in and I could get well known, uh, maybe it would be a good thing for my sh my streams and shows. That's Hello, all fan. I was. Doing. You know, like more, more larger I'm, on, I'm yeah. on more than enough platforms that, you know, I, you know, the only thing I really care about is when uh, a, an, an, a terrestrial station says we're not going to use you anymore. All right. That, that because that right there is 40 to 60,000. Can you guys hear me? If, if it's an AM station. All right. Yeah, we if can it's hear. an FM station. That's eighty to a hundred thousand listeners. Hmm. All right, that. Uh, so I'm not really worried about all these other, you know. If if I get ten to fifty people in a chat, oh, okay, that's fine. Even if I get three people in the chat, I'm fine with that because I know I have numbers other places, and you know, it just and these when I get in there, it just lets me know that, you know, hey, I'm being heard other places as well, and that's good. People have an alternative. If they can't hear me in one place, they can go to another and still hear me. That's not as they are well where you are. Um, again, um, this is me. Um, the social um, media industry has grown massively in the last, what, 10, 15 years. And it just it can be a bit of a cut full time industry. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's like I keep it saying the, um, Roger, it's the old bombs and seats um, concept. Um, if the peop um, if people are interested and they can find you, um, your audience will grow. Yeah, because if people can't find me, what the hell am I doing, right? <laughs> indeed, indeed. Are you talking about mine still, or...? No, no, oh. we're... St I'm talking oh, about... Just yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, just and, and, you know, we kind of talking about I exclusivity, all right? Uh, it, for someone like Roger and me, to be exclusive to one platform for anything, whether it's social media or streaming, that's a bad thing for people like us. All right. All yeah, right? Yeah. Because if you put all your eggs in one basket and that basket decides to uh, let you go or fail, all right, where do you go from there? That's happened to me in radio before. And, I, and when it, that happened to me in radio, the first time I said that this will never ever happen to me again and I started I looked all around and I, I started scouting stations I started and then from stations uh, I went to platforms you know and this is where I'm at today <laughs> you know? the I don't think anybody's uh, I don't think anybody's ever broadcasting exclusively on one platform anymore nowadays they? unless they're being oh exclusively sponsored by that platform to broadcast. I don't know, I can think of quite a few channels that are on YouTube and are only on YouTube. 
So obviously YouTube is the biggest uh, provider. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, yeah. Right. So there's there there you big players, some big big uh, YouTuber uh, on YouTube. Uh, they're probably exclusive on on it, right? Mm -hmm. Not only big players, but small players. Um, of all, um, generally speaking, YouTube's um, financial sort of packages are fairly generous, or pretty generous, um, as long as you can um, keep within the favour, basically. But yeah, um, I was think the alternative way of doing this is um, by self hosting all of your um, material. But again, you've got to get the word out and the websites out to the people, to the masses, um, so they know where to find you. Um. You don't have to be reliant on third party uh, providers, but um, again, generally speaking, self hosting can be, depending on how you do it, can be pretty expensive. Yeah, so I'm I'm thinking about like, when I said big players, I'm thinking like people like Mr. Beast or. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but, broken, but I'm thinking broken, I'm, broken, I'm broken, broken, like that, that, you know. And then the Rogan. Those people have actual contracts. Yeah. So you know when you get I'm like that. Then, yeah. I'm also thinking of the smaller players. Um. Christopher Barnett is um, some of the way um, published um, posts on referencing con his content, um, explaining computers. Um, he's, he's on the exclusively YouTube, um, but he's a small player and it is um, just further income for him. Well, it's not just that the income is uh, actually producing good material, but um, yeah, um, he's using YouTube because um, the investment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see. My brother uh, is on YouTube, and he's uh, he's making uh, how to small little how to videos and making some small profit off of it and I know mm. YouTube is the only thing he uses uh, I, th I guess that for some people there's um, uh, kind of a, a lack of trust in other platforms <laughs> other than the major ones that are out there for, for people who are like not, <laughs> people people who are like normal like typical uh, users who are non-controversial, right? Um, and they, they, they don't, I mean, they, they, they don't even know what mines is. Mm. Um, or, or, or I, I don't know if my brother's ever heard of Rumble. <laughs> Sorry to say, but uh, yeah, there are some people that like they they stay on mainstream social media. Uh, and they don't want to go anywhere else, right? They're, they're, they're like kind of non-controversial uh, players that they're, they're fine. They're never flagged by Facebook or YouTube. So, you know. The messed up part is I'm actually starting to understand where these people are coming from. Because, like, before you got here, Tan, I was, yeah. I was talking to these guys about the open source shit that's been going on 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 the chat you know and i'm like you know i mean if these guys are so grandiose with their suggestions they they should show up for the freaking episodes you know what i'm saying like don't don't just spill your garbage you remember, out remember i'm still working i'm still working well you're and you're, so much time <laughs> you're you're that one of the time. good examples so, that i'm i'm referring to i know you're open source and everything but you show up dude you, you know what i'm getting i'm at, like you you I just, and another thing I wanted to do, I'm going to do it again, All right, before you got here, Tan, I said something mushy, <laughs> and I'm going to say it again, I, I want to say freaking 
that freaking this show, even though it has irritated the shit out of me, I'm amazed that we came this far and it wouldn't have happened without you and uh, Mark. Okay, you guys are freaking. Well, you deserve. I mean, we're, we're the regular, so. We have no, I mean you. You Sometimes. also helped behind the scenes too. I mean, you, you know. What I Sometimes mean? that's miscommunications here and there. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that's what. That's why it comes to this. This freaking stream. This. This right here. I mean. If you really stop and think about it, this was like the beginning. This is where we all freaking started doing yeah, yeah. all of yeah. this, you know? Like, yeah. like on, what was the second episode? Freaking, you were sitting there and it took you like 10 minutes to realize nobody was going to show up, dude. And you go, <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> you're like, not, you, not used to this kind of <laughs> show. You looked over at the camera and you said, Nobody's going to show up for this shit. You just got all <laughs> mad and everything, dude. I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, We're if the you only ones. It, they will come. Well, <laughs> if... A year from, <laughs> a year later. <laughs> well, Mark uh, W showed up, so yeah, we, we're <laughs> mission accomplished. Yeah, he's been pretty. <laughs> he's been pretty good too. He, uh, I try to come in, and I'm going to have to get out of here real soon, too, because I'm <laughs> starting to get hungry because, you know, uh, I'm, I made this really nice brisket earlier today, and uh, I've been waiting for you know, everybody to get home. Uh, now my oldest two got, that are home uh, are, are at the house now, so we can all eat together. So <laughs> I've been waiting for that. Okay. Cool. Now you're you're talking about traditional brisket too, though, right? Like, uh, no. Uh, well, I didn't. Uh, I didn't smoke it outside like I normally do. I I just, I, what I did is I I took and uh, I made it. I I cut it up and butchered it and and I put an eighth of it in a crock pot. And it's oh, gonna, no. oh, it's that it's still gonna oh. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna fall all apart just the same. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. just won't have that smoky flavor, you know. Yep. Mm -hmm. But you put that oh. stuff in an oven too, but it's not the same as in a crock pot. There's uh, just uh, something about that crock pot that does it. Yeah, well, you know, I I had to I had to defrost it. So what I did is I took it right out from the freezer mm -hmm. at like seven or eight this morning, and mm -hmm. I right in and slow cooked it all day. So oh, yeah. it's, it's wow. been in there for. Mm, going on almost 14 hours now. <laughs> well, if you're heading out and everything, remember to freaking oh, drop, okay. your, uh, drop your drop your freaking uh, information and stuff so everybody knows right. how to get in touch with you. I don't know you. if I'll be right back or if I'll be back or not, but anyways, uh, you can always find me by looking up Dragus Productions, and that that's all my shows underneath that banner. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the, Show his channel on the stream. But yeah, that, he, that's what I was uh, actually saying. Like, p post it up on the chat and everything. You know, yeah. I'll do that. I, just, I think he sent it last time. I think I have followed it. And we'll, we'll make sure that everybody sees yeah. that in the stream. Yeah, yeah, make yeah. sure everybody sees that in the stream. Yeah, yeah. Dragus Productions and the shows that I do are in through ship. <laughs> <laughs> He's spelling censorship it. Censorship Starks is also yours? No? Yeah, censorship shows. The Uncle Radio Show. I think a long time ago I actually heard heard a little bit of it. Yeah, uh, back whenever freaking I was doing my groups and stuff. Uh, I think I've, I actually ran into it. Didn't you guys have something to do with Rebel Radio too? Nope. You did? Rebel News? No. Oh. Censorship Sucks Roundtable Radio Shows, uh, Paranormal, Intelligence, Agency, Radio, which uh, is uh, um, less than a month old, and I do the all new... F.A. Enigma. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to ask. All you, on mine. 
Yeah. Yep. And uh, I, I do all those. Uh, I'm a, I only broadcast uh, my shows twice a week. One, uh, one show on Sunday night. So this Sunday at uh, 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, mm-hmm. 7 o'clock uh, Central, the, uh, 6 the... for Pacific, and uh, then you got uh, three shows on one stream on Wednesday nights. And that starts at, uh, I start streaming the pre-show at 4.30 on the video streams. And the actual shows actually start at the top of the hour at 5 o'clock Central Time, which is 6 o'clock Eastern Time. Okay. Right? Yeah. And I go until I'm all done. <laughs> there was something else I wanted to ask you, too. Uh, a little while ago, you guys had an interview with John Clark. How, how did that turn out? What did, was, was that a pretty good interview? Yeah, yeah. That was... Uh, who, it was on a uh, freaking uh, the new Cafe Enigma, I believe. Cafe Enigma, yeah. So uh, I was wondering how that was because like uh, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy brought him in, and uh, that that worked out really good. Mm-hmm. And I was, uh, but uh, we've been having Jack in a little bit more since uh, Jack's right before uh, the all new Cafe Enigma. So uh, he's a panelist slash co-host on uh, Cafe Enigma. Mm-hmm. And our resident uh, cryptozoologist. Yeah. And we got a couple. Of, we got a couple of other guys that do UFOs, and sometimes they don't get along because they come from two different sides of the of the same coin. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. What What is crypto ufologist? Cryptozoology is Bigfoot, Loch Ness monster, uh, the <laughs> rope bend down in New Zealand uh, to, uh, you know, uh, giant salamanders <coughs> that are found in uh, Oregon to Washington. And sometimes, you know, uh, you know, we all know about the giant salamander that's in Japan, but they're kind of related, but they're, I mean, the salamanders are here are, are bigger than the ones over there. And, uh, Sometimes we'll we'll talk about snakes, giant snakes that uh, can strike airplanes and things like that. To oh, uh, snakes that uh, don't mind the cold. They have some sort of antifreeze in their blood. So and they're and they're giant. And uh, the the one guy that I had on, he passed away. Uh, said that uh, one came up between him and his wife in canoe and. and they were longer than both canoes put together. Oh, wow. So, you know, in a river. Anti freezing their the blood sounds corner, like up in the four corners area. So uh, that's uh, Washington, Oregon, and the uh, the Dakotas. Freaking! I I, uh, I knew you guys had cryptozoologists and stuff coming on there. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, John Clark. I was. Uh, I, I've been on a few shows with Jaffe where he was on there and uh, like with him the thing that kept annoying me was everybody kept asking him all the questions about freaking you know the supernatural and everything and this guy was a freaking secret service agent who worked in customs you know what I'm saying there's a lot, a lot more important things to be asking him than freaking what his thoughts about freaking this and that was you know when it comes to paranormal shit you know like Jack that guy Jack just had his last guest uh Rob I believe uh can't think what his last name is I'll have to look it up here later on uh he he was CIA trained mm-hmm all right. Not only does he do hunt for Bigfoot and things like that, but he's also a treasure hunter. And the CIA, you know, uh, took him through schooling and all that years and years ago in, in order to find treasure to fund black projects mm-hmm. outside of the, uh, you know, the, the norm right. that they would get paid. So, yeah. 
See, and that's the stuff I'm and talking we didn't, about. We didn't talk. We didn't even get into that. <laughs> so that's my whole point. You know what I mean? It's like freaking it all gets shadowed. There's so much that he does. You know, he he makes like uh, microphones that that can pick up footsteps that are five miles away. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and, and things like that it, that are unidirectional you know you, you you couldn't hear it unless you beat it right down on to exactly where those those footsteps came from all right mm -hmm. it, the, in in the precise direction because it i mean he gets he, he gets that detail well for me the one thing that i wanted to know because especially when it comes with john clark and the secret service like he he said that he also worked for customs and that's a big deal when it comes to people who are into conspiracy theories and they're into freaking truck or they're truck drivers mm -hmm. because the department of transportation has always it's always been suspected that they have freaking people who are part of the secret service involved oh, with the department true. of transportation and customs you know they, they oh. infiltrated them and they're the ones that run the show you know and i that yeah. Stuff like that is something that I think would have been more appropriate for an interview when it comes to John Clark, you know, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I think Jack, when he brought him in, uh, was looking at it as, well, he just came from a conference with him. Mm -hmm. All right. So they just picked up from where the conference left off and what they were talking about at the conference. So, but uh, he's going to have him back. Uh, he's going to have him back again, and, and there's going to be, you know, he's probably an, he's an interesting guy. It might be. It might. It, I, I talked to him and said, you know, hey, you might want to, you know, certain certain guests you might want to have as regular as regular as monthly or quarterly. Mm -hmm. I said, start thinking about that now. I said, your show's starting to spark. And you're, and you're starting to get a rhythm that's something you need to put in the back of your mind now mm -hmm. and you know it, Jack's never did a, his own show like that he's done YouTube videos and things like that which is you know cool but you know you can pick up and edit and turn it off you know pause the camera walk away and then come back with radio you can't do that you know you're like uh, you t it's, everything's time sensitive and as you talk it's time sensitive because you don't want to as I'm talking now I'm probably I'm because I got a microphone in front of me I don't let too much time slip between pauses I'm sure you guys noticed that and uh, some people think that it's because I want to talk over them no that's just the, the years of training for that type of radio you have to have it pack 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 and there's got to be no breaks uh, because three second break can trigger a radio break in radio mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> so, yeah. so dramatic pauses and <laughs> are, are not not good for radio at all you know wow well, he's had a good experience this year maybe you roger you should interview oh, he has him. been no he, he's been doing it all night i've already done a cool interview with him I'm, oh I'm, you did yeah i've already like freaking we've we've done one on uh summer todd's mystery show dude he's oh he, 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 on he, that he, he, he can always come back keep, and get I serious. Keep missing that. I, I keep wanting to get in and be more a part of that one, but... Well, it's, it's, done, it's, done, for the, it's done for the year until October, so they're, okay. they're, they're taking a break. We, we can't have those two going oh. crazy because... <laughs> they're, they're just using phones and shit, you know, and, and we're trying to... I'm, I'm trying to get them to where freaking they keep their sanity because, like... The, uh, wait, wait, so you're saying you guys interview Mark as radio broadcasting experience on Summer Todd's mystery yeah, show? Yeah, over there. Yeah, and... I've, it I've, wasn't the radio I've, stuff. Oh, oh okay. But... Uh, if, you, if you guys want to do something just radio on that, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and you want to do more in-depth about, you know... I think Roger could use I've some... Done all that tech <laughs> <laughs> tech time, tech time uh, you know, yeah. uh, I tech usually time. catch you guys for tech time, yeah. but yeah. Uh, really, yeah. really need to get going. <laughs> now, on, 
on Tech Talk, what, what, that, what's cool about doing it on Tech Talk, too, is, like, I, I take the shows that we, me, Tan, and uh, Mark do together, and that's an episode, and then, like, the interviews are still a part of Tech Talk, but they're not a part yeah, yeah. of the episode, so, freaking, yeah, yeah. you know okay. what I mean? We can set up, we can set up. If you ever want to take and do that, just let me know, and, uh, yeah. I've kind of you. You could probably cut out a lot of the stuff that I told you tonight, and that's. Oh, I mean, no, I don't edit gonna, this. That's gonna get you, uh, you know, pretty far, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't edit this. This, this is raw and uncut, dude. Freaking like everything you said here is gonna be put on. It, it'll have a nice freaking look to it. Don't get me wrong, but it'll have an introduction and an outro. Either way. And, either way. It's been great being in here with you guys. Uh, if you guys are still back and still on while I'm done eating, then I'll, I'll come back, jump in with you. Mm-hmm. I'll leave. My, uh, I, I'm just going to mute myself on the uh, uh, on my mixing board, and you won't even hear any pop clicks by doing that. And that way I can still hear what you guys are talking about in between. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I might not be able to catch it all, but, you know, I can right. at least ask. Oh. <laughs> Sounds that good. good. All right, I'll be. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Thanks for having me in. Hey, it's glad having you here, man. Yeah, it was. It's. It's been pretty good. Um, we we wanted to kind of focus on like the episodes and how uh all the stuff that we we've, yeah. we've gone through. You yeah, know what I, mean? I think and, that's like, a good idea. Because like, recap uh, the season. Well, even oh. even from the beginning, if you want, because like oh. freaking I said, well, the, I mean, this yeah. season too, yeah, it would be cool. But I mean, like, no, I mean, from the, yeah, from the beginning, from yeah, you're right, from season one up until now, yeah. Because yeah. you realize how much oh, this freaking, do you realize how much? Oh this God, we are even on season two. Yeah. So we we we're having like a short uh, shorter season two. No, believe it or not, this is twenty four mm-hmm. episodes. Mm-hmm. This is 24 episodes. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm flat. It, it's, this is the 24th episode. I had to freaking recount them and everything, and that's even with, like, whenever we did the music, and I had to freaking uh, go in there and try to pull together all that stuff from uh, uh, within the vacuum in Austin when they did their music thing. Mm-hmm. That's that's even uh, checking, making sure that that wasn't added as one of the yeah. episodes because I've had to break them down. Which one? Let's uh, which which one would have been your favorite episode, Roger? Oh God, I could season two. I, I I don't think I no. season one. Uh, a lot of uh, good episodes mm. that comes to mind on season one for me. Like we had the mind guy came up for the network, or is that season two? That was uh, season. Right, was the end of season one. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, that was that was, that was cool, right? Mm-hmm. And and we got uh, what was the we got the uh, movie night thing where we were streaming and was up until eleven. Mark was up until five a.m. his time or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty epic. Now, my favorite one would have had to been the dildo freaking episode. That, that, that was that was the best episode, dude. Like when Karma pulled that freaking dildo out, I was just blown out of the freaking water. I didn't even know what to say, dude. I was like, oh my god, dude. Like you said, that that I, that would have had to have been my favorite because I didn't expect. I don't think any of us expected that shit. And she's just wiggling <laughs> it around on the screen and shit. <laughs> well, I think, you know, you, I, I kind of expected uh, weird stuff from Karma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that one, I, I didn't expect her to have a dildo. That, that, that's what threw me <laughs> off. Like, like, you know, she's all talking, you know, like she's Miss Spiritual and shit, you know. And, <laughs> Good peace and love and everything. Here, there, check, there could be, check there, my dildo could out. Be, yeah, no, there could be. They can. They, she could explain that away as spiritual stuff. You know, I yeah. think he, she actually tried to. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> she, she, she did, and it, it was it was cool. I mean, she freaking made my night. She made my freaking <laughs> month. Be honest with you, when that when she did that, I was like, oh my god, dude, can you imagine? 
freaking uh, that that was the cool thing about her uh, you know oh man if you had just uh, prepared uh, for today's show uh, like a quick soundbite or a video clip up you know the highlights of the glory the glory minutes that we I was thinking we, about that but I yeah, you know nice. we, we've got like shit loads of them I mean and like they're not like a lot of video I'm talking about like hours like there's some of them that are six hours long mm. so you could create a one time sort of yes. yeah I could yeah. I could do that I, what, what we can do is freaking next year before um, we start we'll start we're gonna start in January yeah, I'll make like, a yeah. I'll make a freaking trailer first make a trailer yeah yeah mm. yep we'll, yep okay we'll have uh, no, I, I I do have another thing too that I I wanted to bring up, and it was the it was actually a good thing for for me, and like I've I've checked with everybody that got involved, the ones that did the music with us with mine's uh, round table. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I mm -hmm. asked them ahead of time if we could use their music, and I was wanting to save it up as a library so that if freaking Jaffe does actually do his Operation Secret Santa Claus, we could use that again. If yeah. if he does it, because he does it every year. <laughs> well, I don't know. He's he's getting old. You know what I mean? Those old people, how they are. Freaking, he's getting. Old. <laughs> it's not bad. I would know. I would know. He's getting old and senile. I don't know if he's gonna be willing to do that. Like, <laughs> freaking, like today he he left a message. That'd be around what time in Korea? And I I think. Wait, it, you oh. <laughs> I thought that was your. No, actually, he... actually, you were nowhere early. That was Mark. Nine a.m. and I looked later. It was ten. Is it ten? Yeah. So he's still late. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Like, yeah, that would have been like an hour ago. So he should have been able to get on here yeah. if he's coming. Yeah, oh. See, and that, that's what yeah. I'm saying. He's like, he's like become this old freaking jellyfish pirate. That's, <laughs> you, you know, and he, he's he, never been on your, our round table. No, he's never been on the round table. He's been on uh, old men talking, I think. Okay. Yeah, he's. I think it was old men talking. He was on there, and uh, I know we've had one silly thing. No, I think that might have been Tech yeah. Talk, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. It could have been. It could have been Tech Talk. Cause he he started. He came on one or the other one. It was either no. Yeah, it was because he he wasn't on run. Just Just long time. ago as well. Yeah. I, I'm gonna have to check that like out. Two months? No, yeah. no, he has not been on our show within the last few months. Definitely not. Uh, so I, I I do know that much. That's what I'm I'm blaming it on the senile old man syndrome. He's so <laughs> just because like a but yeah, second, yeah. <laughs> yeah he 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 left the message and he asked and, he, and then he didn't go back on minds to find out exactly what time it was. He just left the message and that was it. So, yeah. He said, Q, when exactly Korean time? Thanks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't ask me about other time frame. That's why I always try to do the UTC. I'll change that to freaking 10 p.m. on the That's chat. 10 p.m. So you said 10 p.m. Oh, his 10 time. Oh, 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. Yeah, that yeah. way it looks good when he actually does go to check. I know, 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 I know. Um, so that it doesn't look like I freaking made a mistake. What am I doing? I'm doing uh, CDT to PSP. Okay. That, way, that way he can freaking, he can hold himself responsible for note. not showing up instead of saying that, that I, I gave him the wrong time. Are you sure it's 10 a.m.? I know, I'm just checking that. 
because what he, time did we start? We start at midnight. Six, night time. six p.m. my time, twelve p.m. Mm. your time. So right, that's probably. eleven p.m. UT. So. So that is eleven p.m. Uh, UT. Say. Oh. Okay. We could be play two. I found out the last time I was on there, Tokyo time eight. is... Eight. That would be eight, eight um, p.m. Eight, eight a.m. East time. This time, eight a.m. Eleven a. p.m. UTC is eight a.m. Yeah. Okay, so, so, I, so I, I said eight a.m. It'll look good whenever he actually does check. Mm. That way, freaking, he doesn't say, well, it's your fault. He's good at that. So we got that taken care of. Now, um, let me see what's going on. Okay, everything's good. Make sure that OBS didn't blink off. But yeah, um, that that was one thing I did want to bring up too. So freaking, uh, so that people who are watching knows, like, if we do do the Operation Secret Santa Claus, I'm going to use that music that was on there um it's from old john austin or art x he goes by art x on uh mines there's some from uh within the vacuum there's also uh some music from uh test play um and then uh I, i've got another one that's uh I, I'm, I know i'm forgetting somebody else but I've got five, at least four or five musicians that I know of that I have their music still, so I can use that when we do yeah. it. As long as you've got permission to use it, yeah. to re use it and so on. Well, it's it's like I said last year when we did that stuff. Freaking, I I I don't want to do uh, a direct stream with Jaffe because he has a tendency of putting stuff that's copyright infringement up there, you know. And, when he's doing that, okay. yeah, he that, that was a big deal last year. It was like everything he put on there kept okay. getting knocked off the YouTube. Is that, shit. Is that why he was? Yeah, he was uh, flagged on uh, Facebook. Yeah, he's always getting flagged yeah. on Facebook. I think the only thing he's posting now is for D Live, so uh. which is probably a good thing. Just, you know, I, I tried to talk to him that one time. I was like, look, man, you need to just stick to your own freaking uh, social group and freaking, you know, network with them. And that means, like, if you freaking keep getting in trouble with Facebook, stop going to Facebook. You know, period. I mean, it's like, if, if YouTube keeps freaking blocking you, stop going to YouTube. But he, maybe he, has, he has a lot of fans. Uh, he has a lot of fans on Facebook. I think. Yeah, what you can do is edit your YouTube content and then stick an advert either at the start or at the end. Um, advertising a full version. Well, the thing of it is, is freaking you can post a link on Facebook. Okay, now the thing of it is, is you don't freaking have freaking do a live stream on Facebook. Just freaking do your live stream on D Live and or on Rumble or whichever one it is. Copy the link and post it on freaking Facebook. I do that with freaking uh, Minds all the time. You know, I mean, if people on Minds fine, but if you on Facebook or YouTube. And you play copyrighted music, you're... Yeah, they'll still... They, they could still get you because um, of that. Yeah, it depends. Um, again, just the fair use. Um, yeah, fair... Well, they just... Um, well, that's kind of... Copyright time, looks like so. That's kind of a joke, though, too. Like, that, they, they like to... Say they freaking observed fair use, but... Their their fair use is a load of shit. Like they've even got right. rules on how you uh, can use fair use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use use all things. It's um, for education, entertainment, or oh, sorry, education, um, news, or research. And um, if not, then um, 
I should have been no more than three minutes of content with any, without any um, commentary in yeah. between. Commentary is the big deal. and that You have to have commentary mm. to go with it if you want mm. it to keep going. But if you don't have any commentary, there's a certain amount of time periods. That's what they got. Okay, no defensive views. You could argue that you fall into the education realm, so... Um, I know... I know, um... People who have done that in the past with you, so... We'll see how cool. Did that. Um, well, this is new, but we still pass them all this, or this is education, and therefore is, um, valid under section 106 and 106A of the U.S. Copyright Act. See how cool we are, dude. No, I mean, <laughs> seriously, see how cool we are. It's like... No, this mark. No, I mean, cool. like, we, <laughs> we got freaking somebody on the stream breaking it down to you, saying stop being stupid, guys. By, by memory. <laughs> Section 106A. <laughs> you know, he's the like... US uh, <laughs> he, he's got the freaking bylaws and shit. Oh, you know what I mean? It's like these are the no. bios. Let me explain them to you, please. I, I, yeah, I, I, I only remember when I said to when I said say and when I said them because it's actually in my um, I've got a disclaimer um, section in my um, mind uh, profile, in my mind channel profile, and it, it mentions those. Yeah. But it's still cool, you know, and it's like you even have like an English accent when you say it, dude. Like that's just like I should like cut that shit out and just make it like a one short stream of you freaking saying that stuff because you're saying it. Yeah. Well, maybe just a clip every once in a while. Like in 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 like in a dance mix soundtrack. Yeah, that, that's what we can do. We can do that like, <laughs> like with all my G spot thing. I can add you on my G spot. The the G spot mix that I got going on. Where have you heard that? I take and mix things together. I got Bob Dub on there, so that should be pretty cool. I think that'll be cool. We'll have you come in and start saying uh, bylaws and stuff and things of that okay. nature so that was actually pretty cool so that that's what i i've got going on with the music thing and i was really surprised too with with that i think that that was a new added thing that uh we were able to get was like actual people doing music you know and I, I think that's one direction we need to keep going to is try to get more people to come oh, on. The only problem, problem with that particular scene is the sort of um, audio quality and video quality wasn't the great. So, um, yeah. Well, for, for me, that's so actually something that, that, that's actually something that's a challenge. You know what I mean? I, that's something I'd like to tackle. Like, yeah. whenever I come on here... Well, it goes back to what I was saying with Angel and them, you know, I don't get on here just to run my mouth. I'm, I get on here because I want to freaking learn, you know what I mean? Like, and, like, mm. that's a big deal. If you want to freaking get into audio and everything, you got to learn that shit. You can't just freaking, you know, get on here and run your chops and think freaking it's all hunky-dory. You got to gotta learn the freaking how to do this like, stuff. Um... Yeah, it's good quality, all good quality. It's not something that you learn immediately. It's a yeah. progression of steps. I mean, I, I, I'd really yeah. like to tackle it and try to learn how to be better at it because I know audio is a freaking pain in the ass in the first place. So yeah. instead of so running... <laughs> So instead of running from it, I'd like to freaking learn a little bit more and try to get better at it. So, yeah. I mean, I, and w with that, I mean, I, I should be a little bit more cautious about how I do it because, uh, like, there's a few times where I have ruined freaking uh, within the vacuums music. Like, he had to send me copies of his shit, you know what I mean? So, I, I will try to focus more on how to get that better I actually asked him mm. if he wanted to freaking do some sound checks with me after Mark 
was was just was just his, his sex. Said that freaking hit said his recommendations and everything. I figured I would check him out here before long and see if uh if it works out really good with the latency and all that stuff. Mm. I just have to get the time can, to get somebody. That can be terrible, yeah. But I, I don't think mm. there is a that solution. Be mm. Being honest with that latency yeah. stuff, I don't think there is a solution. If one big issue yeah, that means well various means of doing the certain that but then it can be technical and can be costly. Well, one thing that's a downfall to it is well, these guys love to use their telephones. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know. Get them to, at least get them to buy stands for, um, if they're using, um, big lines for microphones and stuff, and get them to get a little phone software. Yeah, but. Um, well, you know, just clip safe and stick on. What about the latency issue, though? See? That's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, again, there's there's very little way around that unless you actually start installing hardware and getting that technical support for them. And yeah, yeah that's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. Like, and a telephone on top of it ain't going to make it any better. Mm. There's little things you can do just to improve stuff, such as um, putting, um, having some sort of stand to stick your phone on. Yeah, make it stationary. So it's not shaking about, yeah. What do you think, Tan? Do you think there's any way of making it better? There's always ways of making things better. Make oh. or, uh, well, wait, making what better? I was, uh, the, la the latency for like when people are trying to do music and they want to jam out, but the latency oh. messes them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can. I know, I know. Uh, Zoom so. does it really well. I don't know if any. So they're using Jitsi, are they? Well, we tried it with Jitsi. Uh, yeah. No, they so, Yeah, Jitsi, you could try to. That's, uh, no. try they could try a 30 minute free zoom session and see how if, if that works better. It's not really a platform issue, it's still on infrastructure, it's still on configuration. Oh, no, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, it is, I, I was impressed, like, because I saw, I saw a band uh jamming on zoom a couple of years ago when when this COVID thing just started when and then they have to practice online and that was so i was so impressed uh, how they um uh how they sync how they're in some, such sync together yeah and that's I yeah, wonder, but, how, how the hell does zoom do it yeah yeah, but what sort of hardware, uh, what sort of um, technical support have they got in general? No idea, no um, idea. For themselves. So it's just sort of a matter of um, implementing um, mechanisms to have to aid in that their side. How do you think, well, how would, why would, well, how would hardware solve it? This is a, it's a, it's a network latency. So. Yeah. Yeah, again, uh, multi-casting things, uh, multi-casting um, internet um, providers, or internet now, access. Now see, for me, um, for me, using the OBS would be no problem for me when it comes to doing it, because all I'd have to do is adjust freaking uh, the... Well, not the latency. It, it, I would have to adjust freaking uh, amount of... Uh, or what do they call it? I'm having a brain fart now. I'll pull, uh, I'll pull up my settings real quick. It, for me, when it comes to recording, all I'd have to freaking uh, do is um, give it a freaking uh, sl slow it down. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to figure out the best word for it, but it's a uh, not an advanced. Um, well, what it what what it does is it's a like a replay buffer. You know what I mean? Where it's a, it's okay. a buffer and it, it uh, 
for latency on uh, on YouTube especially it does it too so for me I can I can get the video to where it comes in but what happens yeah. for them though it yeah here it is it's uh um you you get a choice for normal latency low lace latency and ultra low latency and that has to do with with me as a streamer but the issue with them is is like they aren't streaming they're trying to freaking make it to where they have their freaking actual sound come together at the, at the yeah. right time so that they can freaking play together you know what I mean and that they have the same latency but they can't adjust it okay so does that make sense I hope that made sense because I don't know yeah. if I can repeat uh, it I think, I think uh... <laughs> that was pretty rough trying to I, I even went searching around on my YouTube and shit to try to explain it as good as I could I, I, I mean, I mean, another way of doing this is, um, I don't know, sitting on the direct um, connection between you and the other person and um, put a means like a, a, a local. Uh, you guys? Uh, or something um, um, or I, can, I can direct infrastructure. And then um, taking that to your. Um, Platform. Yeah. What was you did getting? You guys, did you guys move on from the latency stuff? No, not yet. Why? Okay. Uh, what was I was gonna say. Uh, oh yeah. Have you have you have they tried using Discord? I've got Discord. I don't know if I've ever tried doing it on Discord yet. Jamming using Discord. See if it works. I mean, they have. Uh, they're doing. Like, uh, like game, you know, game streaming with mm -hmm. multiple people talking through Discord. Yeah. So maybe okay. this could work. Now, I, I do know that Discord is like far superior to freaking Skype. Like, Skype hasn't yeah. got anything on freaking discord whatsoever it's a different dem it's a different demographic though it's a different uh yeah skype is for old people <laughs> uh, no no yeah it's not exactly, yeah no. <laughs> yeah for old, those old those old wet back pirates <laughs> don't get mad Mark. Well, anyway, it's, just, it's a different marketplace well the the thing about freaking Skype is is like Skype has a lot of uh, the platforms like Mark was talking about, right? That the it's been around. Mm. A lot of people are used to it and everything. The reason why nobody wants to get on Discord is because that's where all the kids go to freaking stream video games. You know, so they feel yeah, like much like the Twitter demands, yeah. That they feel like they're freaking acting like kids when they go to freaking Discord to do something serious. <clears throat> There's also something called Jamulus. Jamulus? Oh my goodness. Play music online with friends. Oh wow. What is Jamulus? Jamulus lets you play, rehearse, or jam with your friends, your band, or anyone you find online. Play together remotely, in time, in high quality, low latency, oh, sound yeah. on a normal broadband connection. Worth a try. I'm on. Yeah. I'm on. Jamulus. So World. it's a. It's not a. It's not a. Um, is this some sort of peer to peer thing? Yeah. Not sure. <clears throat> Not sure. I just found it. Was it like it up on the FAQ? It allows choirs to rehearse and rock bands to play. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need a fast internet connection? No. Especially if you don't run a server or host other musicians. Oh, it could be good if you're not. Yeah, good call. Uh, uh, most people on standard rock no, what? band. Have no problems. So yeah, I I said not to show the. Do I need to run a server? Okay, here. Do I need to run a server? It says no. 
Or uh, it could be the, the peer to peer is not really a server thing, I guess. Yeah, that's a point. So, um, if you just intend to connect to other people's server, server then all you need is a client. Yeah, okay, so it could be peer to peer. How does it work? How does Jamulus work? Are you there? Uh, are you on that page? The FAQ? Yes, yeah, I'm, right I'm there. I'm there. I'm looking at the server instance. Jamulus works server. on the client server principle. Everybody's audio is sent to a server, so it is not peer to peer. Mixed and processed there, afterward, the audio is sent back to each client. If the server is registered in the Jamulus directory, the service information will be provided to all clients using that directory. Mm. But it'll all be synced up. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. All right. Is that, that, that's what they're mm, claiming. Now, I mean, you get the guys to try it out. You know, I mean, what good it is. is. Is there a price on this, or can you play it for free? I think it is free. Mm. Um, What's the license agreement? Yeah, yeah, Mark, you go there. Yeah, yeah, go I'm, I'm going to bookmark it until Mark comes up with a solution to <laughs> yeah. make sure that that freaking license it's, agreement It's is... free and open source, so, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, but what, like, yeah. Jamalist is free and, and open source, license under GPL. GPL. So if they provide them server access and they're providing their own server, there's another contract you've got to consider. I mean, it's worth the giving it a try with the with your guys, Roger. So check okay. it out. We can see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Some uh, they have uh, they, it's available on Mac OS, Windows, Ubuntu, and other That's platforms. The what about cool. phone systems? Yes, uh, iOS. Uh, uh, I think yeah, uh, yeah, you, you need a decent microphone, I guess. I don't know if the phones can uh, deal with it. Well, that sounds like some progress right there. I, 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 yeah. I did bookmark it. I'll go freaking check it out here. That, that it, it can't hurt, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. Okay, if I think you require you to actually set up a server. Uh, but, but you would have to have the server, is that what you're saying? I, 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 I think for the best, for, for the best use, use, usage of it. Well, if we can ever get your server up and running and working in good order, we Probably use that. Mm. Installation getting started on Jamulus. Install on Windows, hardware setup, go to the main window, set up your inputs. Uh, I don't see anywhere about setting up server. It's just a. Uh, uh, there is a. Sorry, uh, uh, inside the FAQ that we just read, yes. But, Server manual. Do I need to run a server? No, you don't need to run a server. You can use the servers listed in the built-in directories. Use Jamulus uh, without yeah, running. Yeah. So. And, and then you have to... And then... So you're using, you, you can use some server uh, service. public servers out there. Uh, that's yeah, my point is, um, if you're using somebody else's stuff, I think there's the question of ownership of um, content that has to be considered, and privacy, okay. and all that other stuff. I'm going to okay. the bathroom real quick. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. All right, man. Uh, because obviously, obviously if, if you are um, uploading your music to some third party you don't want to find out later on they all they agree to that they take the ownership of that uh, yeah yeah well and then in that case we need to read the uh terms of service go ahead read, go read the terms of service <laughs> uh, <laughs> i'm gonna exactly. keep reading the uh, installation guide <laughs> you go for your terms of service <laughs> 
Uh, I think this is dependent on whose server you use. Yeah, yeah. Um, just looking through the setup guide to see where uh, they're configuring the server. Connecting to a server and testing your sound before you connect. Uh, to a server, you should not be able to hear yourself, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, so a, there's a server listing um, list. There's a server list when you set up your connection and then they, they have a screenshot that has uh, servers in Frankfurt, Germany, Germany, Switzerland, Netherlands, mostly in Europe. Oh. Are they known as one organization? There's the, the in the United States. Is this one of those um, phone servers almost too full? Oh my goodness. All right, fine. We can host our own server on your um, uh, VPS. I, I think that would be the best yeah. thing to do because if we don't, Mark is going to have a connection. He, he's he's going to flip out. He's going to be like. I, actually, actually, I'm I'm thinking about um, purchasing myself a new workstation. Um, see, and um, what I may want to do is convert this workstation into a server or a um. A KVM, um, a QEM, new KVM, um, virtual machine server. Um, thinking about um, actually being more cost effective for me to post some certain things myself. That'd be a good idea. This thing doesn't need it. much juice to run a server. I'm looking at the server guy. Yeah, here. I noticed, yeah. It's only this is the, the one gig of RAM, 1.6 hertz, and gigahertz of CPU. One core, one core here. It's not that much. I, I think it's it would be. I think it would be a good thing because that's that's really one of the big deals that freaking people on the actual people who get on mines are freaking talking about. They're wanting to share their music yeah. and stuff Musician like that. Musician jams, yeah. Yeah, you know. Mm. And I mean, yeah. like they're they're actually wanting to freaking have you know time where they can freaking get on and just jam out and have a good time with one another, you know. And uh, that's that's the one thing I did notice. They're coming mm -hmm. out of the woodworks too, like within the vacuum. Freaking, I could ask him if he wants to just come in and hang out and jam out at any time of the day, and he'd be like, "Heck yeah, dude," you know. Mm -hmm wouldn't even freaking i mean he if he had something to do don't get me wrong he's not going to say that but if he's free he'll be like hell yeah you know because he that's why he wants to do he just wants to hang out and play music you can you can run as a anonymous or unregistered server mode which means that you just tell your peers your server ip address and they just connect directly to it i guess that's cool. or you can register and it'll show up Public I would have to, well, that, that raises security issues, but um, I'm back to... Do you think they're running off Jitsi? No. I think they're running off Jitsi. It's open source, and I don't think... Uh, I, I don't know. If Jitsi, if Jitsi has the issue, these guys would have issues. But if you know if these guys are doing okay, then they're better than Jitsi. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I've, everybody's it's been it's talking about using mm -hmm. Jitsi as a server, too, so. Yeah, I, um, I should point out to Mr. Robot the other day, um, I tried Jitsi Meet as a server, server um, instance back along, and I still was using my previous CBS um, provider, and I found out that it's um, because it's um, at least from Java, it needs a Java runtime um, environment to run in. So um, Oracle, some um, JRE or OpenJRT, whatever, um, and and therefore it makes um, it's it's extremely RAM intensive. Yeah. And I can next try to, which is extremely light for what it is. 
That's why he was going in there and coding oh, yeah. and going crazy, wasn't it? Because you and him were arguing over that. I'd almost bet that's what it was about. Was yeah, it? Um, I, 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 I don't like um, Jitsu because it is based on um, the server framework is based on um, Java. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go back over chat and, and find that out because I I'd almost bet that's the whole reason why he was on there for all that time, coding and shit, because he wanted to prove you wrong. That that was when I got into that conversation <laughs> with you guys about freaking Java, wasn't it? Or not Java about yeah. freaking uh uh freaking uh, Adobe. Yeah. That, I, that was way, way long time ago. That was like four or five days ago. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to hunt down all that stuff. I'd almost bet that's why he freaking was doing that shit. He was wanting to freaking prove you wrong. He went on there and started coding and shit. He turned around and told me previously that he was gonna drop freaking his Jitsi uh, uh, network. Because he didn't want to pay six bucks a month for it if it wasn't gonna get used, and then all of a sudden, yeah, he, his, his, his service um, way was being provided was very low level and um, and reasonable. But, uh, would I say that's reasonable for its price? I would pay it six bucks like $6 for dollars for. Uh, for, for, for just a cheap uh, static. No, I think I would say that's slightly expensive for way the structure. So, I don't know. Mm. But we were. Maybe. But yeah, I Maybe. guess you're right. Because the six bucks was actually that would be something you could apply towards like a freaking HTML rather than a freaking mm. server. I don't know, that's just my opinion, mm. I guess. Would go go to like GoDaddy. Go go to GoDaddy mm. and get you a good one for like like six bucks. Get you one of those. Uh GoDaddy doesn't do GPS for Sunday. No. And they only do regular web hosting. Yeah. Freaking give up that freaking, you know, open source bullshit. Start figuring out what reality is all about, you know what I mean? Open sources are worse than freaking Remember, conspiracy theorists. What place are you using? I'm using Google and I'm, I sometimes use uh, Chrome, not Chrome, uh, uh, okay. Edge. Again, it depends on what you mean by open source, um, because they're both technically open source. Yeah. Okay, um, because of the needs of when they've got uh, a mess of licenses rather than copy left licenses. That's what they are. Those open source browsers mm. like Google, Chrome, Chromium, I guess. Just, is because, just because something's open source doesn't mean that the code's available, doesn't mean that it's free for use. Alright. It's just. It's um, just. Open source. It's the term open source is so broad that, um, yeah, you need to be going to further details. It just means that what, what you can do is go in there and change it, and if freaking that open source uh, likes mm -hmm. it, they can steal your shit. No, no, no. Um, if you use a, it depends on the license agreement, if you use a DSC clause for the license agreement or um party clause for license agreement then people can stick in property code and not really release the um um code. Um and but if you're using let's say a um GME GPL license then you cannot stick property code in it and you have a responsibility to re release any changes to yourself or we publish the changes to yourself. So, does uh, a buyer beware notification come with open source? <laughs> huh? uh, again, open source has been the term open source has been abused by our friends, the marketers. 
Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. We, we actually were talking about that on uh, Naroki's show last night and about Adobe. You heard they got in a shitload of trouble, right? A lot of their investors yeah, are I leaving. Yeah, I, I post um, last week in relation to um, the ownership thing. They, they didn't in the terms of service agreement and they didn't provide any upside. Um, so it's actually illegal in the UK and EU and most of the EEA um, countries are um, legislation. Um, but yeah, um, um, in effect what happened is, is that they um, allow, I, I wrote an entire argument about this in journalist actually, um, allow um, the, um, the clients um, or the users um, information, to, so the users content, so let's say I um, um, I've created a drawing of a lighter, for a certain example, because I'm in the middle of marketing a new lighter, um, and the, the terms of services is says that um, Adobe Inc. can use um, um, use, um, well, yeah, view um, um, the user's content. Well, I mean, um, in some cases, in some cases, the user's content might be um, subject to um, non disclosure agreements. <laughs> or maybe, yeah. They're, they're tricky um, about how they do it, too. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not, like, they're really tricky about their shit. Okay? Like, freaking, they'll set up all these uh, freaking pr programs that are supposed to be open source allows you to go in and freaking do your open source work on it and freaking all the time they're sitting there watching you and they're freaking taking notes on the shit that you're doing so that they can freaking go back to freaking Adobe and create the same damn thing you're doing on this other one and then put a freaking copyright on it Take, take ownership uh, of it. Again, if they are replicating um, code, um, depending on the license that that code has been um, provided under, mm -hmm. um, they may be able to do that, or, be, or they may not be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a totally uh, new project, but it mirrors the same functionality as um, another product, then definitely, uh, and another proper, and it's been created under property license. Well, and um, it's, it's, um, you can't say Microsoft owns the um, rights to, I don't know, word processors or word processing applications just because they created Microsoft Word. Can say, oh, the program. Google owns um, all browsers because they um, um, re engineered Chromium and um, developed um, Chrome. Oh, well, what about Yahoo? Yahoo was around before Google was. If anybody gets to take credit for it, it should be y Yahoo. No, yeah, Yahoo yeah, was never a browser. Um, Search engine. Never to pick the browser themselves. Yep. Yeah, browsers into the world. But, but, but that same concept, um, just because Google is the biggest search engine player on own, doesn't mean that they own all search engines. Right. And they, um, and, and, and you cannot create a search engine because they own the concept. See, that's why freaking English people suck, dude. Right. <laughs> wasn't, uh, was it Lycos or Excite, one of one of the uh, earlier. Excite, um, yeah. Some of them from the UK. Okay. Uh, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, who's yeah. a US company? Alta Vista, I think was. Alta Vista as well, yeah. Scandinavian. Was it? Was a Scandinavian company? If I remember right. Alta Vista is that what you just said? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, Alta Vista. I actually remember that. Yeah. Uh, They're all at the same, same, with, same time. Um, it was, it, it, uh, at one point, it was uh, uh, the most used 
Yeah. That, that reminds me. Yeah. Now, I, I went back over the Tech Talk, and I realized you had just came in right at the time when Mark and everybody was done talking about freaking the chat thing. Do you... Yeah, I, you, I reviewed it, the is, uh, videos. Is, is, is yeah. there some stuff that you wanted to bring up that freaking we, we missed? Because if you don't, or if you yeah. do, man. I, I didn't know for sure if you was, like, had something of interest that you wanted to talk about. Or no, if you just I just want to gauge general opinion on what the new chat. Uh, that, like, that among us... Even Mark is not using it very much. I don't. <laughs> I I don't really see uh, any. I I did actually. I did actually reply to a comment yeah, in the <laughs> new chat. Um, I did one in a month. Yesterday. Yeah, I did too. And also in the official help and support group um, chat yeah. um, session yesterday. I, I made a comment somewhere. Mm. I. I, I I, I be honest, I haven't really done anything with it. I mean, I, I did like, uh, I told Mark this the other day, but I did like the way the preview was on the video. It was still kind of choppy looking. But we oh, you know, I made I made that pre. You mean you're talking about the preview that I posted on the my chat right. group, group chat, right? Right. I yeah, that I made it using cool. um, some public website. Well, since you can't post pictures now, I. I liked how that, I liked how that did it. Now, can you do that kind of stuff on the freaking chat we do have, like this? Yeah, yeah. This is just a website link. Uh, just yeah. a link to yeah. an animated GIF uh, file, basically. Well, oh yeah, you're right. We can do uh, yeah. gifs and stuff on freaking. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't. I forgot all about that. So yeah, yeah. I, I did like that, but th th that it could do that. I didn't know. No, that, it, it's that has nothing to do with the uh, the chat, the new Minds chat platform. It's just able to display uh, animated chip. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I remember um, there was a lot of discussion about the thing it, it, the, the yep. user. The walk around, so yeah, it 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 fooled you in thinking that was a mind chat uh, feature. <laughs> I, th I thought it was kind of <laughs> cool. Uh, now now I'm around. now I'm back to uh, I don't really having, know. I don't I don't. It was know. a walk around for not being able to post images on the new chat. Basically. I mean, from from what mm -hmm. I've seen, like how long has it been now that they started that conversation about? Yeah. Like we've yeah. been, I, th they really haven't done nothing. I mean. They said, well, there's going to be I, improvements. I, but... I, I did um, provide a, a reference to a Git um, lab um, search on Curry. Um, I, I just I think yeah. last two states. They have so, been making um, um, improvements. And they have uh, been doing stuff. Slowly. But again, but again I, as I said, straight up and uh, Seeing as they released it to public uh, production, um, it was released far too early, and it's going to take time for them to catch up. Um, yeah, Bill Austin has made uh, the same mistake as he's done tons of times before. He's um, hard he's to run, he's always the big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in terms of early adoption, so the, the whole. Thing. Point of this early yeah. release to get early adoption, yeah, right? He, he does, he's done this. Even no, even, no. I mean, uh, let me finish. Past. Even in even in terms of early adoption, I haven't seen much interest in it compared to the Matrix chat when it was first released. There was so much, uh, so so many people uh, uh, jumping onto mm. it when mm. Matrix uh, when 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 the matrix chat thing was rolled out but uh, with the new chat i'm just seeing like little trickles here and there of people oh you know why uh, don't you it comes back to what i keep telling you guys some of us are still using some yeah. of us are still using those mind chats at the moment so um no no it comes yeah. back to what i've been telling you all along the platform sucks 
That's <laughs> <laughs> the reason why people aren't reacting to it. It's because people sucks. are used. Complain sucks. So <laughs> <laughs> See, Tec that right there is going to be a video <laughs> clip, too. Define technical uh, your see, definition. See, that's going to be a video <laughs> clip, too. I'm going to clip that <laughs> off. It's going to be right there. Define it. So <laughs> yeah, 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 it'll be a good sound bite. <laughs> Do I really have to freaking define sucks? I mean, seriously. <laughs> define so okay. different levels of suckiness. Okay, now, when when I go on freaking mines, I don't expect much from them because I already understand that their shit is freaking faulty, okay? I, 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 I tried to reach out to them and talk to them about their analytics, and you know what they did? They didn't do shit, okay? They're, the freaking analytics freaking still sucks. It sucks horribly. Freaking, they... The, the freaking organic reach that they show in their freaking uh, analytics is a joke, alright? Freaking, I want to know freaking what videos and what content I'm posting today is making it when it comes to organic reach. I don't want to know the freaking top freaking 10, okay? If I posted it today at freaking 5 o'clock, I want to know how much reach I freaking got from five o'clock to freaking You've got a total. You've got the amount of views um, which is displayed on the post itself. Not for today's post. Not. I mean, they're still showing yeah. shit in there from freaking a month ago and shit, dude. Like, let me go in there and look at it. Because I, I want to... If, if, if you go to each individual post... They don't, okay, they don't give me uh, the opportunity. They don't. They don't give yeah, that it, option. Um, as an example, as an example, the post I published on June the ninth, I can see after six days views. Now, t trending. You go here. You go into trending. Oh. Uh, okay. Now this now, is. Go to your channel. Now, now in trending channel, is where you get uh, total you views. Organic views is. Yeah. The, the, I want to know what my organic views is. I don't want to know what my total views is. I want to know why it's organic. What it is without paying for it, without boosting it, without anything. Okay. And this, and, and this right here was freaking published February the 9th, 2017, dude. I don't want to see freaking a post from 2017. Yeah, but, but they're still getting sucked, so. <laughs> We're still got some engagements, right? Okay, I mean, okay, yeah, it's got 139 views, but it's from freaking February of 2017, dude. What the fuck's that going Irrelevant. to be? Um, I've that? got two blog articles pinned um, on the top of my um, channel about the pin um, issue from yesterday has been resolved as so, well. Um, but yeah, I've got um, three. Um, Blog articles that are pinned to my channel, and they are dated back 2018, 2019. No. And I, I, I still want to see what traction they're still getting. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the thing <coughs> too about this is, is on on this freaking uh, trending thing, they don't bring in actual videos or nothing. They go according to what's written in the freaking comment yeah. section. So freaking. I've got freaking these uh, news feeds that I freaking posted. I've got YouTube that I posted, but I don't know exactly what what they are. So freaking all it says is it's rumble.com slash v four z k blah blah. You know, murder time, fun time. So I, I have to read it and they'll right. say that. But there's some of them up here that don't even have the name on it. It's just the freaking video yeah, number. That's up to you again. Descriptions, titles. Well, I mean, it, uh, when when I it. when I come in and I look at an interface, dude, I should freaking be able to see it. I shouldn't have freaking make a description of freaking. That's, yeah. that's, uh, uh, that's uh, laziness, I dude. As a viewer, I want to be as a viewer. I want to be able to have at least a synopsis of. The content that um, I, you're going I want, to show me. I want to I see. I want to see. I want to see the thumbnail, dude. At least give me a thumbnail. Okay. 
you know I mean shit dude it's mm -hmm. not it's not like I'm asking for much you know what I'm saying I mean how hard is it to freaking make it to where people can see a thumbnail or f at least when they put a video up or a freaking vlog you know since since I'm trying to appeal to you I should say the word blog so that you could better understand where I'm coming from because you're the blog guy wouldn't you like to see uh, your freaking a blog is a collection of articles wouldn't I it be nice to see um, your blog when people say oh go to my blog and view this blog no you are viewing a blog article <laughs> would you or would you not? <laughs> would you or would you not Pick it up like to see for a million bucks? Would you or would you mm. not like to see freaking a a, a freaking thumbnail of your beautiful blog freaking thumbnail that you put on there in trending when you go in there to look? Actually, no, because my thumbnails, I tend to use... You're the uh, one that's, uh, you're the the one that's responsible for this, aren't you? Like, I, I, I get this yeah. sneaky yeah. suspicion. <laughs> yeah, but when I, um, if, if you ever notice my um, blog articles, um, I will use the same... Um, I love three or three different um, banners, depending on the subject matter. I know you, I mean, depending on the subject matter, we, we, we use the previous one. So everything mm -hmm. that's related to um, open source has a single banner. Everything mm -hmm. that is related to, to the Minds community open source industry will have another banner. Okay, so do you want me to move mm -hmm. on to the next level of suckiness? <laughs> go on, go on. Okay, so here in earnings I believe it is um yeah I feel just a misuse, a misuse of a word in my opinion but yeah um well that actually they changed percent. they changed all this shit around yeah they did like they finally got rid of the, the bullshit concerning the uh wow they did total earnings they, they completely got rid of everything that concerns the token token like like the uh, online no, the on chain the on chain the on, they used to have an option in there where you could actually okay. freaking oh, yeah. Yeah. uh look at the freaking uh on chain uh train i i guess the prices for freaking the the mines token well, that's Again, good. Again, uh, yeah, as I keep on saying, that until they change, change the terms of services, mine is still, the staff, the senior staff are still violating their own terms of services mm -hmm. by um, allowing for that. Well, I mean, well, if, why, why, why is and mine... the senior staff and the senior staff are well aware of this. Why, why is uh, the why is the mine token listed on Coin Market Watch then? If it's not a because they're purposely be. doing it. Shouldn't it shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I've seen you multiple get that tickets about this. I've had plenty of conversations, discussions in rooms like um, Canaries. Uh, generals um, and various other mines token rooms but just the staff are well aware of this but they are still in, in I, 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 I may, I'm making a formal allegation that they are formally they are um, disregarding their own sense of service mm -hmm. I <coughs> And my view is either the entire terms of service agreement is appropriate, or none of the terms of service is appropriate. You can't have it halfway. Okay. Well, well, I mean, just uh, it could be a self-imposed mines terms of service that doesn't, from the legal point of view, mines token is based on Ethereum. Uh, no, mine. Um, as I point out to you, set on section something like section seventeen point five point. I'm not aware if it's NW or what, but it, uh, the mine token is a utility token, and it's not a financial asset. That's now, what mine. That's what mine terms of service say. But from from a digital currencies point of view, 
isn't a mine. It's a, it's a financial asset. It's a financial asset yeah. then. Yeah. There's all these. If, if you have a look, um, they always reported things like uh, this is the US dollar um, cost. Um, See, this is a good shit. Um, yeah. I love like getting Mark mad. <laughs> fucking, he is just. He, <laughs> yeah, he is um, fucking a wow, man, dude. <laughs> I love you, dude. Mark, the senior staff are, are well aware that so they are up. using their own policies. He is on fire. Okay, <laughs> you, you ready for the next part of freaking suckiness? Okay, so <laughs> now now we dive into the real problem now. On my settings, what I like is I like to freaking come in here to freaking my account, all right, where it says others. There is a place on here where it says that I can uh, I can migrate my content. That means I can come in here and I can migrate freaking uh, with YouTube and have YouTube. my shit. Yeah. My shit. The YouTube sync. Ha have my shit sync up to freaking. Uh, minds well see you know i've i've mentioned this even in the help and support at least three or four times i've freaking mentioned it to you i've mentioned it to freaking at bashy every single one of them and not one of them to this day for the last freaking almost a year have has freaking helped me clear up this shit and get my youtube synced up to freaking minds as a matter of okay. fact um as a matter of fact, wait, wait, so you mean you mean you uh, you've never been able to sync up your YouTube channel? I did it one time, okay, but I wanted to change it from one YouTube freaking channel to another one, okay. Another, uh, so what happened was I okay. went in here and I disconnected the freaking old one, and I wanted to sync it up to my freaking video games because I do my video games too, and I wanted since I'm I was doing all this shit this with the streams and they were already going on to the mines then freaking I could have my games just automatically sync up from YouTube can you share your screen and show uh, I know I know I know what yeah, settings yeah, that you look but that's only the video that's the video isn't it um, right. it's not um, being pleasing of um, title uh, it's being pleasing of title and, um, and there's a freaking option to also do Twitter as well which that is supposed yeah. to be, which I I, 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 uh, I I'm not sure I can think you said it worked for you it's just a problem of switching to a different YouTube channel that you can't do is it not no, allowed I mean, to do it no what, what it is is I took the first one off and it went off fine but when I went to go put my other channel on there it freaking took it in but it never started sharing it like my my videos aren't being shared on freaking my profile like they're supposed to be. It says that freaking it's all connected and everything's good, but they're Ooh. not. They're just not sharing. It might be a bug. But um, I, I I would say the as far as YouTube's concerned, I would say that as a benefit um, because <laughs> again you can customize your posts. Um, if, if you if you manually do it, you can you've got more opportunity to customize your posts automatically. Um, post. Rather than just snapping a video up there um, and and not providing any further information. Well, dude, I mean, I'm. Uh, let me explain this to you. I, I I thought I just said this really thoroughly. Okay, let me let's say it again. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay, I, I am posting my streams and shit on here as it is, and, and, and I I have immensely large amounts of video game videos, okay? There is no way I can do these streams and take time to freaking share those videos okay. on here. <laughs> I would freaking go also, crazy. Also, also, would you want to um, assign all of those videos to one channel? Yes, I would. Because these bastards need to freaking pay. Even though it would just be a mix match, even though it would be a mix match of content. People love video games on mines. Don't let these idiots freaking like Bill okay. Altman and them freaking <laughs> bully you, dude. Yeah, but, but they the love is, your video games will be mixed up with your political stuff. Be I've, mixed I've up lost. Your I've lost a really uh, good. I've I've lost a really good fan base on freaking minds because of this shit. Okay, like, 
Retro Cheating is probably one of the coolest dudes on mines, okay? And if you ever freaking get on there. Yeah. And if you ever get on here and you regularly post freaking video games on here, he will freaking support you and freaking like your shit and share your shit on a regular basis. Yeah. All you got to do is use the hashtag. He's there for you. I can't get nothing from him no more because I don't post video games like okay. I used to. You know? Yeah. There, I, I, I'm, I'm just, again, I'm just looking at from, again, an organizational thing. Um, if you were going to have... Um, um, I stop. Videos on I stop. Multiple different subjects. I stop doing group, that. Uh, well, additional groups or additional channels. That that goes. no, that comes back. That comes back to what I was talking about with the freaking mind sucking thing. Okay, this is another level of suck. All the years, <laughs> all the years that they've been out, freaking everybody wants a me to freaking go in and organize and shit. You know, they need to freaking come up with playlists, okay? These, these freaking bullshit excuses for why they don't have playlists yeah. is just completely ridiculous. They've been out, they've been out freaking since five years after Facebook started, dude. I mean, do the math. In Facebook started. In, in theory, um, in theory, you could use um, the hashtags as a form of playlist. So you yeah. could um, tag all, all, all of one content with a single description hashtag, and then tag all the other contents with another hashtag, and then. Um, Mine's a social media platform, it's not a video platform. Alright. Uh, you see uh, playlists uh, on Facebook? Careful. Social media, social media means a lot of things to a lot of different people. YouTube is a social media. Um, Reddit it's a vi is a YouTube is a video media. platform, right? You cannot post on YouTube a uh, post that has no video. Media. It's right. a video platform. Right. Yeah, still right. social media platform. It is, it is. It's, but it's, it's, people are still but communicating back to you. The social no, media no, but, but what I mean... What I mean uh, but you, 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 you... Don't you know what the difference between YouTube and Facebook is? Like, it's, it's, yeah, YouTube is like a rumble. It's a, me it's a video platform. Yeah. It's, it's a... Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> well, it, yeah. Uh, it's a it's social, a it's a social media platform. Now so, you're 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 media. thinking with with media, Facebook, yeah. with Facebook in mind, they are a social network. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. yeah. I guess I guess you can say make that distinction. Yeah, yeah. They're a social <laughs> network. <clears throat> which well, well, which well, so when I when I mean it was a, it's a multimedia platform. It's a yeah, multi, there multi you go. social network is a multimedia platform. Yeah. And multimedia content management system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to just a video uh, uh, media. Uh, content See, that's what I'm yeah. trying to say, dude. Like when you get Mark fired up, fucking shit, it's, it's so <laughs> fucking cool, dude. I I love yeah, this stuff. Again, I, it's it's all just. It's all just marketing related generalization that I keep on there and um, oh, um, this is an social media thing because it's a video platform. It's mm -hmm. a social media platform. Um you see I think I heard it earlier, um, um it, I, I think um open source is tough. Mm -hmm. Depends on the license agreement. Um, <laughs> um, it, I hate people knowing all these. Uh, okay, so so back to general generalization. Back to Mark's yes. point about playlists, yes. right? So uh, maybe the the reason that mine is not doing the playlist thing is the same reason my wife Facebook is, doesn't have playlist. Facebook has playlists. Facebook has had playlists on groups and freaking uh on groups and uh, pages for the longest time. I used to use freaking my playlists on freaking my uh, my p page. I don't, I have Facebook, I have Facebook. I've never seen like a playlist feature. Freaking Skype. What do you mean? But again, again, you could replicate. Um, no, I mean literally on Facebook. That's what you could even assign um, content to um, groups. 
Go in and create your own. It's such a good store. Okay, so I'm on, I'm on video. On, on tab. Facebook. I got your videos. On base on Facebook. Are you on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, go in and create mm, your right. own freaking page. Not. Uh, uh, you mean like a fan page? Just a page. Period. Create your own page. Fan page. It's like the, the normal Facebook page is the user profile, the profile page. No, it's, it's fine. Are you Just talking as long about as it a profile page. page? If, if it's a page or if it's a group, it don't matter. Well, the page is the one that's really the big one. It's been a while because I know they did changes. But the pages are the ones that have the freaking playlist. Yeah, right. So they have, they have the okay. fan page or, or like company pages. I would uh, I would just stick so with the fan page. Chinese, Chinese yeah. So here, here's my yeah. here's my Facebook video page. Mm -hmm. But this is like like this is like a fan page. This is not what normal Facebook users do. This is like a fan page of some uh, corporate organization or a public uh, personality. Right. Uh, See, I all that. I walked yeah, away from I'm, Facebook. So. Yeah. Like that's all Greek to me now. Okay, so yes, with a fan page you can create a playlist. Uh, yeah, but not with the profile page. All right, okay. I mean, that's interesting. But the groups serve the same or can serve the same purpose. I mean, Facebook has a lot in a lot of ways. Groups serves the same serves the same purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. It can it can serve the same purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or and also, yeah, yeah. You can use groups for that purpose. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Why not? Now, do they? I, I, well, it's been a while. I'm not sure. To do that. I, I'm and not not sure if groups has playlists. No, no. Mark no, saying you using group, you can post. You create different groups for yeah, one that's... playlist would be mm. a, a group. And look at and look at my shit, yeah. dude. Um, I, I, I see you doing TikTok. I see you doing TikTok. Yeah. I love the TikTok videos. I've gone into the TikTok. You're gonna walk yeah. down that rabbit hole that you've been asking me about. Why I have all these freaking pages and all these freaking channels and all these pages. You're you're talking yourself into the same shit that I did. And right. And, no, no. But on YouTube, they they have playlists, and still you have different channels. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> See, it, yeah, that, that's then, where. Then, that, then, then, <laughs> I'm not saying it's good, that. guys. I'm not saying it's good. Yeah. I'm saying this. Yeah. That is where I I am now. It's okay, yeah, I started yeah, somewhere. I that was before you knew YouTube had playlists. <laughs> no, it was where freaking I ended up freaking getting more and more and more sucked into the freaking game. Of course, you're going to get a, a, a page, and this page is just going to give you all these playlists. But hey, hold up, that's not the same subject, so I'm going to have to start another page. And then next thing you know, you got two pages with two freaking. <laughs> You know, no, no, no. You talk uh, uh, YouTube page, YouTube pages. I've got different YouTube channels. I've got channels. Yeah, you know, I got YouTube different YouTube pages. channels. I've got um, frick, or I have. You can have one. Yeah, you can have one account having multiple channels. I had, uh, I had, and within one pages. channel, you can have playlists. Mm -hmm. I can have multiple playlists in. Yeah, you have channel. multiple playlists. Yeah. 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 And the thing is, is I, I, of course, I had my YouTube set up afterwards, you know, that, that was afterwards, but I, where it started was I had my Facebook shit, and they were all done that way first, and then next thing you know, I had to freaking have my, my YouTube channel. Well, I couldn't just have one YouTube channel because I had five different groups with five different topics. So that's where all of it gets crazy. And next thing you know, you got all these different channels running different freaking content. And but you could have just used one channel with different playlists. You know? This is, this is right. again, this is really down to your own managerial, your own organizational style. Well, you, you can't you put serious shit. Like, like our tech talk, I'm not going to put it on a freaking channel with paranormal stuff, dude. I'm sorry, but that's just not. Precisely, precisely, yeah. Precisely, that's what I mean. It's no, but to, if you have playlists, you have a generic. Everybody be freaking 
asking, well, dude, why the hell are you talking about ghosts and UFOs and then talking well, about that's, technology? Well, that's what you, you are doing a little bit of that right now. Sometimes you put the Minds Roundtable yeah. on Roger Hansen uh, live streams. Other time you put it on, like, Infinimus. Other, <laughs> no, I don't. Other time. Uh -uh. This, this goes yeah. straight on. The only thing I've been sharing freaking this one, too, is the group on freaking Minds. It's on uh, my main channel on YouTube. And, no, uh, but I'm I guess I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking I, about I, I, on I Rumble. Mean, I mean, I mean, now Rumble, Rumble, it, 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 YouTube, um, your YouTube um, channel. So you've only got two major channels, haven't you? You've got the Wicked Forty One. You've got you've got the Predatorium. I've got all that. I, I finally um, did get that all straightened out on Rumble too. By the way, I know what you're talking about, Mark. Uh, okay, I, 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 and there's quite a bit of mixed match in in those channels. Well, that was because like freaking when I first started that Rumble account, I set it up as Infamous OG One Nine Seven Three. And then I created the channel for Roger Hansen. Mm -hmm. And what well, what Tan's talking about is half the time it would be on freaking the infamous channel, yeah. and the yeah. other half it would, I finally was able to go hmm. through and sort that all out to where when we do the streams, it'll go straight to freaking Roger Hansen. Mm. So, okay. so that mm. is right now. It, it took me until actually this week to get all that straight. If you notice, we got different channels now for the different ones we do on Rumble. Like, okay. like Tech Talk has its own channel. Yeah, and this is where I would like you to be able to replicate that idea through the other platforms. Well, I can. Um, I, I can do that, but not on mine. Because, because I know it's going to be time consuming to set up. And no, I can do that on. on I can do that on the mines groups, like do the separate groups for the separate mm -hmm. things like we've been doing. But like yeah. I can't get it yeah. all broken down because it goes back to what I was saying. Mine sucks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you want to go yeah. to the next yeah. level of suckiness? Yeah. No, really. Well, still not really provide a good definition for that. No, I've I've actually provided some really good definitions. Now this Wait. this this stuff that I've mentioned <laughs> is like real life issues that are going on on mines, and they continue yeah, yeah. to freaking screw up, and they never freaking make it better. Mm. Okay, every time they and, and this is the bad part. I I turn around, and I send in a freaking uh, a ticket. Like you guys always suggest, send in a ticket, right? So I send in, in a ticket. In GitLab or on it, the uh, help page? Do it on the help page, okay? So okay. I send it on the help page, and then I do it through freaking uh, the message thing, like they suggest. Mark always suggests doing. I do that, okay? They yeah. go in there and they freaking try to fix something, and guess what happens? All of a sudden, it's something else. Up. Yeah, something else <laughs> fucks up. So, so it goes from one Not thing necessary. being yes, necessary. You're the one that had to bail me out the last time. Whenever it came to uh, freaking, I was on freaking uh, Linux, and I was having problems with freaking my browser. And finally, you and Tan had to go in and help me freaking oh. look at it. That was just, yeah, but uh, that was not my mind to see. That was your no stuff there. That was your. Is no, it, it was because <laughs> no, it was because freaking minds didn't freaking uh, understand that I had freaking chromium sixty four instead of chromium yeah. thirty two. See, no, 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 that was a in, that was a infrastructure. That was a localized infrastructure. I see. That is that this is was technically down to you. you. No. Mines, <laughs> mines couldn't distinguish hence, between. Hence why we... Mines could not distinguish between what Chrome 32 was and Chrome 36 was. My Chrome, um, or Chrome 64. <laughs> I know. I, I, my, see. Mark doesn't know how to respond to that. <laughs> he stopped. He stopped. Then I, I actually realized what I just said. He, they, <laughs> mines could not uh, distinguish between. Chrome 32 and Chrome 64. Why would they need to? Because freaking 
that's what 32 is what most of the freaking uh most of the freaking websites go off of when it comes to chromium no, on no, Linux. No, no, no. Um uh, the um the um coin system architecture has no relevance with do you destroyed. realize? Do you realize how long? Um, do you realize how long it's that uh, Chrome 64 uh, has HTML even been available on HTML, Linux? So, um, irrelevant. An HTML yes, it is. is it's HTML relevant. It's an HTML page. A PHP page is a PHP page. is a PHP page. As long as the browser is fairly up to date, um, it's um, HTML5 compliant. That it should be able to view anything. In relevant of uh, what architecture the client is using. The client could be using ARM, it could be using x 32 so IA, mm -hmm. IA32, or it could be using x 64 Well, when, when, whenever. Fudge with a Java. Whenever uh, we re whenever we much. resolved that issue, I wasn't streaming at the time, so I really wish I was, so that I could freaking show you that this is a this was solved because me, you, and Tan went through it and freaking solved it together. This was back when I was still yes. on Linux. Yes, it, it was related. It was related to um, localized cache caching, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it was internally within your infrastructure. It had nothing to do with mind itself. Yeah. See what in this case. It yeah. was something down it was oh, something down to how you your data you was reacting. Good, good suckiness that keeps Mark continuously fired up. What's your next level of suckiness? That right there yeah, is about as sucky as it can get because, like, freaking uh, that right there is. And, and see, people like Mark freaking keep continuously saying that there's no problem with that. But then when you go mm -hmm. in and you try to upload a I video. I did not say there was no problem with it. <laughs> what I said is that the issue with related to the infrastructure. Calm <laughs> down, Tiger. <laughs> The fish, not ending way in relation to the professions as provided by mines. <laughs> no, it, it hasn't been a while, or it's been a while since I've had this issue, but the reason for it is because I haven't been uploading shit on freaking mines anymore. But one issue that I did have on computers that freaking are smaller than this one is the fact that when you go in to upload freaking these videos, if they're freaking uh, above 1920 by uh, seven, no seven, 1280 by 720, freaking it causes the freaking uh, videos to freaking slow down on upload really, right. really bad. 1280 by 720 is just 720p. Right, 720 by uh, 1280 Again, that's, that's the resolution. Local no, I mean, no, 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 Mark. This one is about the video infrastructure. This is about the yeah. video when you upload it. Okay. <clears throat> now, I, I, oh. back back whenever so I was having good. this issue, what I would have to do is I would have to open up freaking more than one tab, so that freaking I could have two, sometimes three of them running at the same time, so that they would kind of like uh. You they, taking up all the they places, could, they can they can make it to where the videos would actually you upload. You are technically talking about about the browser feed um, feed frozen. Therefore, the browser is eating a lot of CPU or CPU resources. Or, therefore, it's a local infrastructure. It's a, oh, okay. It's a so, wait, wait, what, what is the issue uh, when you're uploading a twenty-eight uh, 1080p video? Yeah, when, when, when you when you no, open up no, a no, no, it really when it's, you it's try to open up uploading content when, when you're trying. Okay, let me let me say this so we can get this straight. When you're trying to upload a video to Minds in no other place, just two minds, all right, and right. freaking it's at anything above 1280 by freaking 720 in resolution, it will freaking just barely right. freaking move. Sometimes I do that all the time. All of my videos are in uh, 1920 by yeah. 1080. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Again, again, it's 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 it's, it's related to um, CPU usage. It um, freezes up your computer. No, it, CPU, it literally so freezes the video to where it doesn't even want to upload no more. It will stop in the middle of it. And it won't do anything if what you okay. what, so, what, yeah, what they have to do is they have to open a tab up uh, to freaking do it again. Well, I mean, you say it's an infrastructure issue, but I have no problems with doing that shit on freaking Odyssey. On YouTube. I don't have any problem with YouTube. I don't have any problem with it on freaking... I, I, I was even uploading on BitChute at the time, dude, and they outdid you guys. I mean, freaking mines really sucks if freaking BitChute is better at uploading videos than what they are. Um, that That is a horrible... That is the a whole um, framework. Um, and, um, is quite a hefty framework. So um, there's means and ways of them optimizing that code. So that becomes. Uh, it, I mean, it's just it's oh. just a file upload at that point, right? Or are you talking about? Yeah, it's about just it's just a file upload. That's it. Is it or, or is it re is previewing as it is uploading? Um. No, I've never gotten a video that actually previewed whenever it was uploading. Okay. Just, that shit just doesn't oh, it's just, no, it's just uploading it. That. Yeah, that shit just doesn't happen. Like, it's... Mind you, will never freaking come to that, uh, that standard of excellence. Again, again... I, um, I've got a GitLab ticket that's been open for years now. Um, um, that's related to um, low um, client hardware, so low CPU um, uh, hardware. All, C low, all uh, of low the CPU. videos. Uh, that's um, um, Firefox um, reacting extremely, um, pushing up, ramping up the CPU usage to such an extent yeah. that um, it uses the mistake. Um, when you're uploading, I think it was images or something, I remember why it's right. No, it was, I'm sorry, it was scanning books in new feeds. Um, yeah. Once you start um, scanning further and further down in the channel or nothing new feed, um, there's a issue of um, the brace is slowing down, um, and in in effect, in some cases, freezing. Yeah. Because, um, All of my videos are in uh, 1280 by 720. Never had problems. Uh, no, 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 1280 no, by 720 is fine. Text. And see, see, the thing of it is, is these platforms, a lot of them that are alt tech are generally, they're, they're programmed at 1280 by 720, and they recommend that you do it at that. It's got nothing, okay. it's got nothing okay. to do with, with, with resolution. It's the way that, um, um, well, I mean, it, do, it does, the, it, it, um, it does sort of because with a higher um, resolution, you have no, um, a larger it, 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 it's, it's really, as far as I can say, it's really related to, uh, format, how the data is being, um, displayed. Um, so how it's um, picking up on the database of the Transferring it to the browser window. Um, How big are the files, uh, the Mark? Data, oh, sorry, Roger. The data. What did you say? How how big are the files that you were uploading that froze? Well, no, not relevant because when they uh, once uploaded, they get transcoded and then they um. They no, because on on um on the on uh, on your non plus account. You are restricted to yeah. a certain number of uh, minutes that and, you can and, have. And let me let That's me also true. point that That's out. Actually not true. I, mean, I, I I created a group recently called the Medrevy's uh, Music Lesson. I've uh, uploaded a number of um, videos, um, all copyright free um, videos, um, up to um, that um, group. And some of them are over 120, 140, uh, 160 minute? uh, minutes. Really? You know, moving to the standard size, as well. I don't know if that's two or four. Interesting. So it's size, not um, uh, so. So mine is not enforcing the limit that it's uh, setting. 
It or, looks or like us. It looks like us. Well, okay. you, yeah, it looks like us. You, you know, with uh, a lot of the stuff that you guys are talking about, though, freaking, um, it has absolutely nothing to do with what I was discussing. Like, the the frame the the format of the video is probably what what Mark's talking about is what it is like it's probably the fact that 1280 by 720 they can format it better when they process it onto the freaking platform that's what I'm guessing but they're not transcoding your yeah. file until it's completely uploaded yeah true that is true so they have to freaking upload it first before they can first. actually freaking <laughs> Yeah, do all that so shit. You're saying it freezes. In yeah, the it freezes. Yeah. It freezes right there so, in the process. So, so, so that interaction is related to a part of lack of optimization there, right? Well, and also, if you um, have one now, you, you want to give it a try? We can have I'll a look at the browser try. console and see if. Are, are you still have? Are you still getting this? Is this still happening now? Yeah. Is it current? No, I, I, I. I I haven't had that problem since I upgraded. That's what I was saying okay. on the smaller uh, computers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, on the smaller uh, computers, that's that's one big issue I that mean, I, I do know that is an issue. It, well, it used to be, and uh, I mean, well, they, you know, if, if they, right, if they, so on a smaller, on a on a less powerful computer, I would think it's just the the number or the amount of memory that the browser is having to hold when it's uploading your That's file mainly, and no, high CPU, resolution video chargers. Well that it's makes sense time. too because I mean, especially with, with you and that little project you were trying to do uh, Tan with the freaking yeah. old computer like I yeah yeah like it didn't work it didn't work you said that it was a lot yeah. of stress on it didn't you yeah yeah I mean, well, it just so wouldn't completely. Would just... It doesn't have the virtualization technology it needs. Yeah, so yeah. that that would be. Um, it. But I mean, to be honest with you, freaking that has happened recently. That that hasn't happened within. That that wasn't something that has been that way all the time because I remember using old freaking computers to get on mines with no problem, and I'm talking old computers like the one you have. Like mm -hmm. back in 2011 and 2012, old, you know. Yeah, but you weren't producing videos back then, right? I, right. I, 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 I just said up to, what was this? Um, I bought this machine, um, back in, I think it was, I'd say November last year, but that doesn't sound right. No, November the year before. Um, I was using a, um, the Nepho, I think. Um, station center A58, um, which is dated, which was manufactured in 2010 and only had um, mechanical hard drives on it. Um, fairly low CPU, um, um, 2 gigs of RAM maximum. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and the amount of stolen I found on that and um, various tasks. Yeah, and I mean, it was like, like, did, did you have any problems at all with mines? Um, I had plenty, especially with the sort of new speed stolen. Yeah. And I, and I still come across people having problems with stuff now. I'm just trying to look for this new speed stolen. That's why you're stuck on <laughs> blogs. <laughs> It makes sense now why you're so stuck on blogs, because you're yeah. We've been we've been uh, you you've yeah. been live streaming for almost three hours, guys, and you have five viewers on Rumble. Oh, that is cool. Mm. That is cool. Well, thank you guys for being mm. on Rumble. Nobody is showing up for D Live. Mm. I I mean I'm I'll do this for maybe an, another week, but this is like the fourth replay, and like there ain't shit. Like nobody comes in okay. here. I, I, I ain't. I am not playing this shit. Like I, I, I've done the whole Twitch thing, but at least on Twitch, people get to see your shit. You know. Like nobody gets to see what you're streaming on, on freaking D Live whatsoever. <laughs> I, 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 I had never heard of D Live until. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jeff, actually. Jeff. Yeah. yeah Jeffy. Jeffy. 
Mm. Yeah, for you. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay. That is just. I mean, it, it it literally is crazy shit. So. That is the most ridiculous freaking stream I've, I've ever seen in my life. Like, the, at least that's what I. It's making itself out to be like freaking. Nobody gets to see your video unless you freaking. Unless you send them to the video to watch it. Even Odyssey freaking shares your shit with each other, you know, or with everybody on the platform. Are you, are you making money on uh, Rumble, uh, Roger? Yeah, I think I'm up that, to I think I'm up to like a dollar nineteen. Yeah, back in nineteen, because uh, every time huh. they play an ad on your video, you get something, right? Because every yeah. time I reload the page, it plays a couple of ads. Yeah, they're supposed to. I don't know if it is doing it or not, but yeah, it is. It does. That's cool. I'm. I mean. I've, I've, it started picking up, don't get me wrong, it has picked up in the last month or so, but, I mean, it's just been an inchworm after the other, I'd say after eight months, that's whenever freaking it does start picking up, and it's been doing pretty good, oh, he's on fire, dude, I think you got him so mad, Tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I just referenced. Uh, Did you see that shit, dude? He's just like, and... I'm so glad I put it back on Skype just in time for that. <laughs> like, it was his face. He had that freaking smirky face, and that <laughs> that link just came flying right in front of him. <laughs> I was like, damn, dude, that's hard. Yeah, so yeah, we've we've, we've we've been the good lab interface. I find it 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 uh, really sucks. It's amazing how you're able to find stuff so quickly. On. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, I I just mark all my um all the GitLab tickets on creation also. Um, I can. I I haven't really like ventured. I don't even want to venture even like into the GitLab world of freaking minds. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I'd rather I'd rather let you guys deal with that because I I went over this stuff and and believe it or not, I don't know if you your memory is good or not, but I've said this shit before. Like you're not hearing nothing new. I know you. I hopefully you guys realize that because I've I've said this shit to you. I don't know how many times. The same stuff. I mean, I, I've I've gone over it again. And but the thing that's important that I need to point out is the fact that freaking I can say it to the rest of them they aren't going to do a damn thing dude not not a damn thing well no if you uh, if you went on GitLab you would see that they're quite busy <laughs> doing dude, stuff I just want them oh, to sync not... my YouTube channel I don't give a shit about <laughs> none of the other stuff just sync my YouTube channel it's all about you then isn't it no just the YouTube channel uh, is there a priority? <laughs> and, I, and if so, where, where in the list should it go? I, I fucking, I, I, oh, wait. Mark's channeling Bill now. <laughs> I, I, I think it is Bill's fault. I think it is directly Bill's fault. He is out too. He, he's too busy out playing golf and hanging out with freaking uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan. And he just don't have time yeah. for a slowly freaking I could members. make an argument on that one, but, um, yeah, I think I would take the fifth. Oh, okay, so you know something and you're not going to let us know. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I've got a couple of opinions that certain people would not like. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Usually uh, no, you're yeah, holding yeah. yourself back. Right? Yeah. We 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 better we better yeah. freaking call I'm this. We better call, call this. I gotta go make dinner. We yeah, should call it. yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And besides that, if we keep Mark on here, he's gonna get himself into trouble. <laughs> he he, 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 he <laughs> already true. hyped up, man. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't think Mark's the type of person to be bullied. You know, we've seen him. Stand up uh, to Bill. So well, he gets he gets so fired up, dude, and it takes so much to do it. That's why I don't really want to get off of here because I like seeing him get that way. He doesn't do that very much, you know. What I mean? Right, right. I, I love seeing him fired yeah. up like that, dude. Because he yeah, is, me too. he is a monster, dude. 
<laughs> he, he is a he is a freaking beast. I'm, I'm such a pussy cat. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> oh crap! Did you just you guys notice that? I just snorted it like karma. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> with that being said, I I do want to say freaking again, thank you guys for freaking helping and being a part of this for the entire time you know and also I want to say thank you to Karma and Bob Dub and everybody else Good. who's been on here the one person I will not say thank you to is Mr. Robot because he is a lazy shit uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah he's lazy. he doesn't want to come onto your show anymore ever since he got, he got you in trouble well no it, it was back when we started all this he was one of the talkers he's the one that freaking yeah. think this would be a great idea and you know what he's come on maybe three times dude in the yeah. entire year we've been doing this he did want to come on choose no yesterday's stream but he asked he was oh yeah right? I, don't know, right. Minutes, but, um, I, I was yeah he, he only asked within the last 20 minutes of the stream and we were just but that wasn't mine's round table though that was no that, that, right. that was roger's real-time right. talk show and the only reason why he did that mm. is because we we stirred him up about freaking the uh colon, colon colonials in of england and then he he, oh, yeah. he got fired up about all that stuff so hopefully that'll i imagine oh yeah i Again, we wanted to try and keep his in there, obviously, the slot, and um, I, mean, I could see if I uh, invited him on that up late stage, we'd be doing for the next two, three hours. Mm -hmm. Well, with uh, that, though, what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out how to get uh, him on to the thing so that he can say something but at the same time we need to make sure he doesn't go crazy and start talking about freaking you know stuff that's not mentionable on YouTube. Again, again maybe a stream might not be appropriate. Maybe I'd be feeling be a bit more appropriate in this situation. Yeah. Potentially. Maybe do an interview with him. A pre-recorded interview. Yeah. 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 You know, I can stream it on Rumble and everything like normal and then freaking do yeah. do an yeah. upload on uh, YouTube. You interview him yeah. uh, his blog yeah. for one of your streams well, a while he, ago, right? No, he doesn't want to tell his life story. He's... No, but I thought he did. Well, yeah, he, he, did. he did. He did. Well, yeah, he did. He did. You interviewed him for his life story. Well... <coughs> Mr. Robot's life story was uh, interesting, but like he he freaking you could tell he was holding back on a lot of it. Like with you, you freaking said your story and you went all the way back to when you was a kid in Vietnam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to when when Mr. Robot did it, he was like talking like he was in an interview and shit. And I'm like, no, hold on, dude. You know, <laughs> like. This is your life oh, he, story, he, dude. He doesn't have to tell us. He doesn't have to tell us. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was surprised that he uh, even agreed. To right. Tell you That's why I didn't say nothing. And, but there, yeah. there was a difference. You know what I'm saying? It was like there was a dif difference. Like, like if I asked Mark to tell his story, he'd try to give me his resume. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Well, speaking. Speaking yeah. of which, have you ever interviewed Mark's life story for one of your uh, he 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 hasn't he hasn't volunteered to do it yet? But I Be I would there. I there would do go. it if he ever wanted to do it. He he he, he did a he did a business. That would be a set of conditions set up. Right. <laughs> a set of conditions. Uh, yeah, yeah non-disclosure agreement and you know uh, yeah, conceptual. Yeah. Uh, contractual obligations and all that mm -hmm. yeah. now he he, 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 he did he needs to come up with new terms of uh terms of use uh agreement for you to sign before you can yeah that's the way he is you know how it is yeah. you know yeah, yeah. now he he did do something similar i think it was like in the beginning when i first did it but it wasn't it wasn't really a life story it was kind of like him telling his business career 
and stuff like that. I could mm -hmm. get them. I could. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> from yeah. Where you are. yeah. Um, I, again, I, you don't need to know every single. That's a, that's called your. Life. That's called. Um, well, um, you you don't need to tell your skeletons. We just want to know your what? life story, and that's it. You don't need to tell your skeletons. In the closet, yeah. <laughs> as as North Americans, you you can know. Um, I'll tell you what. Things like um, I, I'll tell you what. Life. Um, if, if, if people, people if people would take time to freaking just start from the beginning and just let it go naturally they would be amazed about how much they really want to say compared to what they believe before they start doing it you know what I'm saying like every person I've done these stories with freaking say well I don't want to say this and I don't want to say that and I'm like okay you don't have to say it and guess what happens by the end of the freaking story? They've said every freaking say thing that they've said. It becomes they a professional person. They, they've You're said, a professional con artist. Person. Person. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really conning them. I'm just letting them freaking be themselves. And then they all of a sudden are starting to say the things they said they weren't going to say. And you know why? It's because... Deep down, they really did want to say it. They just didn't freaking know they wanted to say it until it happened. Like analyzing us now. Well, I'm, I mean, it's weird how that works. Yeah. It mm -hmm. really is weird mm -hmm. how that works. Like, I, I never freaking told them, well, you got to say this. Or, you know, like, you say what you want to say. If you don't want to <laughs> say anything about certain things, you, don't have, you can choose when to start in your life. If you want to start when you were a little kid, start there. If you want to start when you were a young lady or a young man, start there. It's your choice. And every oh, one of them. It's 10 p.m. here. I really got to go make dinner. <laughs> Same here. I'm going to get Stop. off here. It's, get off of Get off the yeah, screen. Okay, so you, you, you guys want to mm. say bye? Yeah, so thank you, Roger Hansen, for inviting us into your last episode of Season 2 of Live uh, with Roger Hansen's Minds Roundtable Weekend event. And let's see each other next season. So, Roger, tell us how long we're going to take a break and when the next season is going to start. This will be the last uh, episode until January, the first Friday of January. 2025. Okay. 2025. Yeah, I presume that will be TV three so I'm not sure uh, if January the first is going to be the most. Uh, it, it, we'll just say the first Friday since we've been doing these on Fridays. Okay, okay, so yeah. The first Friday uh, of January. January the first, who knows what state any of us could be in mm -hmm. that day. Right. Okay. That's okay. It. See you, man. All right. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.